also join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Your Northeastern radio station. And look, can I tell you, good night, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Real Talk, the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal in studio tonight we have our engineer cassidy and of course you're tuned in to the co the hosts of the show daddy rude to my immediate right looking like him smart and yours truly lady cleo will be your female host tess and of course my i call him my friend of me with a big greeting tonight when i saw him big pleasant surprise we have with us dan dan yeah, he's no longer across the waters right now talking to me. He's right here live and in living colors. And it's great to see him. I only hope we can get along tonight. <laughs> now that he's seeing me face to face. <laughs> so good to have you all on board. It matters. <laughs> good to good to have you all on board tonight welcome to the show and of course you know that we are going to do our best to educate and entertain you as we go from now until midnight um all our friends who are across the island of jamaica and are tuned in right now we want to big you up and say welcome to the show if it is that you are in either of the parishes that we frequently broadcast, of course, St. Anne, St. Mary, St. Thomas, and Portland, and of course, all our friends who are able to watch us via the World Wide Web um, in other parts of the island, yeah, we love that you're on board with us tonight, and I hope you stick and stay. Our friends also on the so social media pages, um, those on YouTube, well, those who do YouTube, you can see the post show on YouTube, and you can check out Styles FM Radio for that. All right, if you are an Instagrammer, you can go to Instagram and check us out. I can't. I keep forgetting them. Yeah, sometimes. Follow us at Styles FM. On Twitter, you can check us out at Styles FM 961. And of course, to see tonight's show in its living colors, you can go to Facebook at Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page and, you know, leave a comment or so. And of course, we will keep you in tune with the show as well. All right. And. Let's, let's give you those numbers now for the USA, Canada, and the UK on the go. And um, you're not going to get off scotch free. You're looking too smart ish. So give us the numbers for the USA, the UK, and Canada, please. Daddy Root. All of them. All of them, sir. <laughs> Don't tie up your right. No. <laughs> um, for the on the go listeners, the USA number is 712. Eight three two two seven seven two and I repeat seven one two eight three two two seven seven two the UK listeners the listeners on the go zero three three zero zero one zero three three two two and I repeat zero three three zero zero one zero three three two two and for our Canadian listeners it is six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven and and I repeat six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven he sounds like a recording, doesn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy Rude. And for the local number, if you wish to send us a WhatsApp message and message only via the WhatsApp, please, or you wish to send us an MS SMS or to call that local number, it's four five three one triple four. That's four five three one four four four. And if you are overseas and wish to call in tonight, that number is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. All right. And of course, big ups to all our friends overseas who never ever ever call in, but they're always listening in or texting in. Yeah. All of you guys are so appreciated. All right. No, that rude. I must tell you. I was in St. Thomas uh, over the Easter break, yes, and boy, I was with mom and the family, and I can tell you, uh, Monday was, oh, I had an awesome day on Monday. 
Well, I learned that the community of Whitehall, big up all the Whitehall people right now, the community of Whitehall hosts their annual sports day. Yeah. Now, I normally see sports day for schools, you know, and stuff like that, where the kids are running up and down the place and having fun. And, now, this is sports and, and day. The, and, and the questionable teachers. Oh, Jesus. Here he goes again. So, on this sports day, this was like no other sports day. I mean, everybody, pretty much everybody in the community, they had teams from schoolers up to adults. And I mean, nobody had to be begging anybody to go and run and to come run. No? Everybody People wanted. were just willing. I mean, hot girls with them ears on them back. You know, catch up. Know, they're not, clearly, they weren't even prepared to, like, to, like, to run with the, the ears bun or anything. Them ear let down, sexy shorts, uh, dress people in a dress or run, yeah. <laughs> people in a skirt or run. What did you do? <clears throat> I didn't run, because I can't run. <laughs> but um, I was asked to give out um, trophies and medals. A trophy work, you got I was asked to give greetings. So, like one trophy wife them. then? Excuse me? You're like a trophy wife. Uh, don't go there now. Uh-uh. <laughs> this ain't no trophy wife. <laughs> uh, this wife is going to be out there. <laughs> I think no, I was like no figurine. No. But it was great. It was absolutely great. And I must say that person from the community mm -hmm. put this on. Like Gary Edmondson. Gary, you're listening right now, I'm, I'm sure. Big up yourself. You and your crew that put this initiative together. I think it was superbly planned. Nice. The idea is excellent for community development and yes. teamwork. Um, the person who sponsored, they had a cross country prior to this. Oh, really? Something I tell you about, you know? What? I meant something. They had a cross country prior to that. And uh, Mr. Dillon is a, re well, I wouldn't say a returning resident, but he lives in the community. Um, he lives abroad as well, but he comes back and he supports his community. How far did they run to? I'm not sure how long the cross country um, distance was, but can on I, the can, day. Can I make a recommendation for next year? Sure, I'm sure they're listening. I'd like for Is the this you are talking about Daddy Road? It's a recommendation. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's scary, <laughs> depending on who it is coming from. Yes? If you're not around, go Penland Castle, you're not around, go nowhere okay, at so all. Okay, so that's Daddy Rude. Okay, okay, people, you heard from Daddy Rude just, just now. And I'll back. tell you what UL says at another time, right? <laughs> Penland Castle, oh, same Oh, my way. goodness. <laughs> but um, the houses, we had, they had blue shivers. Oh, God, their costume for the cheerleading was great. Red dragon, pink diamond, and yellow sparks. And in that order, they... Winners are were called so blue okay. shivers. Big up yourselves. Your costume sloppy, good and proper. I love um, pink diamonds as well. They were really okay. nice. Creative work was put into all the costumes. To be honest, mm -hmm. and I think I've seen cheerleading at one other level again because males were involved. The feet. Everybody was just having a great time. They had food on sale, liquor on sale, and of course, Mr. Dillon. He did sponsored you, trophies did you and buy, medals. Did you buy anything? Kudos to you. Did yeah, man. Oh, you got it free? No, I bought. I supported the thing. I bought light beer and um, a cran and cranberry juice. So you're not eating nothing? No, I didn't feel so hungry. I just wanted to drink. Okay. Why are you setting, taking sip on me? Mm -hmm. Where's Whitehall? Whitehall is when you go to Seaforth and turn up on the right there, right at the, the bridge. This is past York? Yeah, man. Yeah. Past York and go all the way up to, into Seaf the bed of Seaforth, the heart of Seaforth. And they have very good road, I can tell you. <laughs> the road good, <laughs> unlike where I live. The, the road? Yeah. It's, it's good from... Diego, huh? Not no. all the way up, but Seaforth up, I can yeah. tell you, more than three quarters of the way. You oh. should know that place. Yep. Oh, you know. you know Soho too? Yep. And I mean, I saw persons coming from as far as Seaforth to go to Sports Day. You know Middleton? Yep. But you know my place? Yep. I'm on my place? Yep. Oh, that's cool. You know which part Middleton Cemetery there too? Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know where Reggae Falls is? Yep. What they call dam. When I was there at one point, they call it the dam. I know where Reggae Falls. Falls is, yes. I've not been and, there. And I also know Mr. Porter, who he I is. Oh, Mr. Um, Porter. Mr. Porter is pretty much the manager person at Reggae Falls. For Reggae Falls. Right. Okay. Well, to all the persons who came out to sports day, young and old, young at heart, everybody, 
big 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 ups to you and thumbs up to you and let me just say to rampus in white all i know is listening rampus right there at shutters shop and bar shut up big up yourself as well and the family right there in white gate saint thomas white all to be exact and to gary and his crew Dainsley and wifey big ups to you too i didn't want anybody no uh, mommy and the crew back home big ups to you as well and the taxi drivers neil and the crew as well big ups and of course to diane in atlanta georgia and vivian and annette in that's diane's sister in connecticut <laughs> i don't want to leave them out for this minute so big ups to you everybody all right and it was great back there in whitehall keep your thing going and i urge all communities out there if you want something to do to get your young people involved and occupied plan something like this because trust me it was a really really good look and i'm considering it throwing it out to my community because i think it's really great be original Sports they make for everybody. Moray, big up yourself. <laughs> and they want to know what happened to Bright. What happened to Bright Yeah. Uh, hmm. I have no Interesting idea. Interesting question. We're not sure, Charmy. We're not sure. But we have another man with us who is whose eyes are just as bright. I think <laughs> as bright eyes. Are dry. <laughs> are dry. Yes. You know, I put on him glasses. <laughs> All right. So Danny, we walk on. Tired. Tired You're tired. I'm tired, but... You're going to get me good, no, so. You're not so tired. I don't no like your head. You like my head? I don't no like your head. And this is the same head I have every, every week. Yeah, but the head with the panty to your head. <laughs> the head. Yeah, Rob? My who? My what? Yeah, yeah Rob. Rob what? Hmm? You mean by Rob? Like bleach? <laughs> I don't want to call the word, because... <laughs> how dare him say? You kind of look like you yeah, are, Rob. I, I, I don't need to. I'm chocolate. Mm. Your Chocolate. face part, you look rubbish. I got my Mac on. Mm -hmm. He needs it, right? He needs his helmet like right now, I swear. <laughs> but I don't rub. Mm -hmm. I only rub on some lotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so not even not in all, huh? No, that's that makes you hot. When I was young, I tried that one. It made you make you sweat. Like whoa. Mm -hmm. Unless you're in the AC all the time, then I don't think that works for me at all. But I do have my Mac on. We call Mac. You would understand, honey. <laughs> the, oh, the, 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 um, the, the sitting there. I know where I talk about. But I'm not rubbing. Do I look mm. any browner than I'm supposed to? Thanks to your Dan Dan. I think he's on my side tonight. I hope it stays that way. Mm. Cassidy, do I look bleached? Bleached? Be careful of what you say, All right. Cassidy. It's a, it's a, Be careful. A, a, little bit, a little bit lighter, do don't. Do I look bleached? Answer the question, sir. If you're in court... Right, he said you look a little bit lighter. It's a yes or a no. Do I look bleached? It's a yes or no. You're torn. You look it's torn. It's a yes. Lighter, you look contrast. I look contrast. <laughs> you smell like that in the room. <laughs> you know what? It's a good time to go to this break because, boy, I'm going to try and analyze that statement. What, what, does, it's now, what does that stand for? LV. It's Louis Vuitton. LV. Louis Vuitton. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was love. Oh, Jesus, man. I uh, it's it now 9.30. The time is brought to us by <laughs> VJ Print. <laughs> VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We're yep. soon forward. So stick and stay now. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. 
Aboard the Mission Foundation and the Windsor Forest Police Youth Club presents ATM Panda Strip Health Fear Family Fun Day and Luncheon on Saturday, April 7, 2018 at the Windsor Forest Square in Portland. There will be free health checks, kiddies corner, talent show, domino tournament and many more. Sponsored by the Coalition for Jamaica, AIDS Healthcare Foundation, Health Through Walls Incorporated, e for life Portland Health Department and Stoolers Fashion. Part proceeds in aid of the Windsor Forest Basic School Building Project. Babes, just follow me now. Right over there, sir. Through that hole there. But be as be curious if you go in. The place too dark. Just right over there, sir. Right over where the hole there. I come man. All mosquitoes will bite me. Bills me no like come on them places after dark, you know. So wait, I don't look back them afraid of. Come on, we almost reach. But there's something I make care about with you know. That's why we make sure we walk with all the Bible. You think me I go make rolling calf reach me like last year? But kiss me brown fall, all them people here. All the places are so crowded. And when they find you, yeah. Time Fusion, Episode 5, Tipsy Islands, Saturday, July 7th, starting at 7 p.m. sharp at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio. Be there. Who said that woman can't do it? And them said the woman don't come to do it. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. Welcome back to the show with Lady Cleo, your yours yes. truly, and Daddy Road. Talking about um, fun fusion, right? Yes. Um, have an update mm-hmm. for the... Because person would have known by now that Bayview Eco Resort and Spa is one of the places that usually provide accommodation for our patrons mm-hmm. at a reduced rate. And poor Chungi. I had Chungi <coughs> telling the people one rate <coughs> when I actually got an updated rate. Which is more or less. Which is less. Oh, excellent. Eh? Right. So poor Chungi. Excellent. Eh? Right. And I should apologize to Chungi who gave the listeners something, some information that I failed to update him on. Mm-hmm. Now, putting a pen and paper together because one of the, one of the nice things one of the nicest things about this is that person can all the rates, right, is for double occupancy. Mm-hmm. And if you even have a little bridge, you know, your sister or you know, whatever, two, three, or one, or one roll, when you can share the cost, just the same. I don't think, think they are going to be that strict. Now, the standard rooms are for $95. Mm-hmm. Right? And that includes, all these rates include um, breakfast. Oh, continental so, breakfast? I think so. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Ninety-five dollars is for the standard rooms, the superior rooms, and the slash triple occupancy. I guess is for one hundred and eighteen dollars, and the suites are for one hundred and thirty dollars, which are larger rooms, larger bathrooms, etc., balcony, all the nice fandangles that you get. Mm-hmm. So if you really look at it, say two people gonna go, right? Ninety five dollars, that's like what, forty seven dollars there about. Okay. Right? Forty seven fifty roughly for each person. And um you say the triple occupancy, three of you, or say four of you gonna go, you divide that by four. Okay. And you find that you pay practically little or nothing and you actually everybody gets breakfast. Right? So um the contact number for Bayview Eco Resort and Spa is eight seven six nine nine three. 3118. That's 876-993-3118. Book now because I can tell you these rooms 
are going to go fast, right? Especially when, it's, when it gets closer to the event, all right? And Fan Fusion is alive and well. Yo, my girl, Mo and Tilly say, mm -hmm. why I'm going to know how I'm going to manage about the decor I got up. <clears throat> and right? I'll be here. The decor <laughs> is going to be... Can't wait. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't think... I know mm -hmm. that thus far, mm -hmm. if we pull this off, there's, there has been any event that has ever been held in Portland. That has that... That is gonna be as exciting Fantastic. as this Ooh. decor, right? I don't wanna know yet. I'm gonna and, wait. You know, it's 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 gonna be really sweet, really 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 sweet. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm also gonna make an announcement. I'm gonna change my mind about something, right? Should I be scared? No. Okay. I'm gonna add something to Fan Fusion. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I said I'm going to change my mind because I said I wasn't, I wasn't going to do it. But I changed my mind. To tell us? No. Oh. I'm, not going to, I'm still not going to tell you oh, and anybody that part of it. But oh. um, it's 500 pre-sold and mm -hmm. it's 800 at the gate. You're changing right? that? Yes. Oh. Two? If you bring your flyer, it's going to be 700. Oh. Okay. At the gate. Okay. But without your flyer, you're going to pay the $800. Okay. Reasonable? Yeah, man. All right. So it's going to be 500 pre-sold, 700 at the gate with, with flyer. flyer. And without the flyer, it's going to be $800. Yeah. Right? So just walk with the flyer. Get an extra buck to mm. buy some water. And most persons are going to have someone with them or a crew mm -hmm. them. So it's going to be collectively worth it. Yeah, out. worth it. Yeah. Worth it. All right. And the VIP <coughs> is $2,500. And for what you're going to get... There's not going to be no regrets. It, I, I'm only doing 50 VIP tickets. Mm -hmm. Only 50. And you'll be getting um, complimentary soup. You'll be getting finger food, which includes rabbit, kebabs, oh, etc. Oh, lovely! Right? Mm. People, you're in for a treat with that one. I'm telling you, yes. straight off the bat. I'm not ifing or butting or maybeing. I know it's a fact. Yes. Because I've had it. And I don't do food if it's not good. <laughs> choo choo and it's also gonna give you a mixed drink cool right and as I said last week um, Shelly will be running the um, mix, mix like drink she's, mm -hmm. she's a mixologist for Fan Fusion and she's creating Tipsy Island baby she's actually creating uh, mixed drinks for the I event wish especially I was gonna be dairy now to tipsy him off <laughs> <laughs> just kidding dad <laughs> But it's gonna worth it. And um, <laughs> remember, dress tropically elegant. Uh huh. Right. And me actually, see my shoes already. Oh really? Yes. I haven't seen shoes. anything yet. I haven't seen right. my hair. And I think I have style a, or my clothes. I, I think I'm gonna wear um, a blazer. Ooh. I think I'm gonna wear a blazer. I haven't seen my outfit as yet. A colored blazer. I need. I seen more than one colors, or just one color. One nice color. Tropical thing. Within the tropical. I need theme. a sexy outfit. Right. Hot, tropical, mmm, vroom, vigor, vitality. It's, uh, it must say that when, it, when I see it, okay. when I'm in it. Because that's clear. Okay. Yeah. I know I one know person. From, I, I know one person, and I'm going to. Oh, boy. And I'm going to spare the name, right? Mm -hmm. This one person actually bought three to four dresses for a fine fusion. Oh, Jesus. She can't give me one. No. Three to four lovely dresses, Cassidy. Can I have one, please? Whoever for, you are, I know you're listening. For Fan Fusion. And you know um, really, really, really <laughs> nice, sexy Could write her a letter. <laughs> yeah. And um, I know persons already that have, have actually sent me photos of what they're going to wear or they're thinking cool. to wear. So it's one of those events, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a all white, all black, so on and so forth. It's a tropical... Tropically elegant. Yes, tropical theme. I'm envisioning my outfit, but I can't I'm gonna, find it. I'm trying to find a nice shirt to wear. So if I get too hot in my blazer, I'll be in my shirt. I, oh, I can't I wear the shirt when we were here before last, right? I can't, can't repeat and report. Eh, eh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go report proper if you ever repeat. Right, but um, 
get your rooms. That's what I can tell people. Get your rooms, book with your friends, book with your family, get your rooms, right? And as I said last week, tickets are already being sold. And I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that when I go for the tickets, I'm going to be coming back to Jamaica without the tickets, oh. without some of the tickets. tickets. So okay. I'm going to be coming with less tickets. Mm. All right. Right, than what I bought. Okay. I'm certain of that. So, hmm. people, don't blame me, but I should, I'm hoping mm -hmm. to have enough pre-sold tickets, tickets in terms of based on what left, based on what persons are ordering already. All right. So, guys, you hear about Fan um, Fusion Episode 5. Yep. And you have another one. Uh -huh, that's Carnival. something here. Yeah, man. This one is being promoted by... Swad, Boom, and Magnum, Tonic Wine. Mm -hmm. And they're presenting to you, the people of Foreign and Jamaica, St. Thomas Carnival 2018, Water Party at, of course, the Colonel's Cove, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. That's on Saturday, April 7th. That's tomorrow. So it's all about tomorrow. All roads lead to Colonel's Cove in Morant Bay. You can't miss it. It's 800 admission, pre-sold, um, 800 pre-sold rather, and before 12, 1,000 after. All right? So cheap, 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 affordable. Of course, DJ Tony P. And they'll also be featuring DJ Spine, Trinidad's best, most impressive DJ, and DJ Craig Ross. So you can't afford to miss it. Dress to sweat and get wet. St. Thomas Carnival 2018 at Colonel's Cove, Morant Bay. That's tomorrow, people. So get your carnival outfits on and come ready to jiggy, jiggy, jiggy and get wet up and all these things. Yep. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it is an annual successful event. You know? Okay. And this one, they're asking, Andy's asking about parking. Oh, yeah. Um... Parking will be. We normally have parking in terms of along the the, the road. The stretch. Yeah, yeah, but there's always um, police officers, police officers yes. to regulate that. So there's yes. nothing to wor worry about. Um, we have limited parking, limited parking inside, inside the venue. So once the gate is closed. Yeah, that's it. That's it's, it. It's very right. limited. So, come early so though, it's, it's usually early, for. It's an early event. Yeah, as I told somebody um, before that, if you come at eight o'clock, you've missed maybe one or two DJs, mm -hmm. you know? So if you come at um, 10, you've missed a couple of DJs. And people are normally there from all about, say, 6 o'clock to deal with the meet and greet, etc., etc. And I'm asking my younger listeners um, of Styles FM, remember, it's a retro party, right? I remember last year, um, two ladies came to me mm -hmm. and saying, that's a boy when one of our DJs coming back up because um, them want to hear some, some um, we call it now, Moon say Young People music. You know, them want to hear some new music pretty much. I'm like, if they don't realize that it's a retro party. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I, I mean, we always say 18 and older because of the standard, but, you know, if I could say 21, I would say 21, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. Right, to have to keep the mature vibes going, which is what Fan Fusion is. Yes. You know, it's for all of our listeners, but... You know, it's a retro party, so you have to be into retro music. And I think tomorrow night, if all being well, my listeners, listen to DJ Stain tomorrow night. Because I think it's going to be playing from 70s all the way to early 2000s. Stain them up. Yes. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, not tomorrow night. Sunday night. My Sunday apologies. Night. At um, Sunday Peppering. Cassidy, no stuff in there. Right. I think it's going to be playing um, <laughs> 70s. 80s. In the first hour, then 80s. Wow. Then 90s, and then mm -hmm. close off with early 2000s to give you an idea of the the wide spectrum variety mm, of music cool. you know that's going to be played at fan fusion all right so that's it guys becomes to taria one of our very avid avid listeners charmy gracie and of course other, other people who are texting in right now vivian said to go easy on me yeah he's looking forward to another interesting show are you Take coming to fan fusion vivian cleo I doubt if Vivian will be able to make this trip. Then she can't say she has no authority to speak on what I do to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Vivian, you hear that? But trust me, you wouldn't even know the half. You will defend me. I know. Lord, all mercy. right. And, of course, all our other friends. Charmy. 
and hey. and everybody who listening, you know, all right? I was thinking to myself, like, I think it was last week or so, and I realized that people have been, we've been lying to each other. Who, me and you? People. Oh. Especially us Jamaicans. Mm-hmm. When you say you're tired, when you normally say you're tired like what? I don't understand your question. When you, when you say you're tired, you normally say you're tired like? Like dog. Like dog. One of the laziest creatures <laughs> on earth. <laughs> One of the laziest animals on earth is a dog. <laughs> and, and, well, and, and people say that them do what they're hungry like? Dog? Like dog. And who sit down a yard and get more food than one? Dog? So it's a hungry like dog, really and truly, you know? Hungry like dog. Uh, you know, you're you hungry. hungry? <laughs> 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 so they've told something. Oh, oh Lord. The most I tell you is one dog, the dog asleep. Oh, Jesus. Right? Or barking at somebody, some male or something. Idling. You can't tell you how dogs don't like males, but it's a man's best friend. It's ironic. They have similarities, you know. Let's not go there, though. But uh, look at, don't look at me like that. In it's what true. way? In what way? In, no, uh, seriously. Uh, um, in what? You're way? really asking a question. Yes, I'm asking. Huh. In what way are we similar? No. We're loyal. We're loyal. All girls. We're loyal. That wasn't the one I was going. No, to. no, 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 no. And you're wrong right there. No, I'm not wrong. No, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Compare us to a dog when it comes to being a being a girlis. Compare us. And I bet you tonight that you're going to be wrong. Mm -mm. I'm right. No. Yes, I am. How can you be right? What have we done in similarity when it comes to woman, woman thing and woman eyes and something like a dog? One, two, three. All over the place. All over the place. You don't stay one place. The, the dog gets the woman impregnated the, mm -hmm. in pop. In pop yes. I'm going to leave her. Find some other woman. Like some of you men? No, but that's not well, that's not any form of simi <coughs> that's not something that's Is natural. That simi that's just that's just nature, right? Are you going there? As a matter of a fact, right? Are you suggesting that <laughs> after the dog get your woman dog pregnant, if you go look work and come con mind for your dog? Must help to care of the children, of course. Oh. I mean how? Most of the time the dog then bite up the go puff there. Take care of her and lick her mouth and Listen, lick her and, and when they talk make about, sure that she's and, she and careful, when, come give her to. And when they talk about dogs, they compare men as womanizing. Do woman and dog have more man? <laughs> no, 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 no. Right? They, they, they take it with, the by force. The woman dog have more man? They take it by force. By force how? Jumping her. No, she's the one she there. Keep, they keep jumping her. Luring, or she she try to run, run when I get, get, get. Luring all the dogs them every three no, months. No, she didn't call them. Right? With our pheromone or whatever, whatever I want him. And a fair fault, it's nature. Exactly. <laughs> and, and naturally, we follow. Right? And I say, follow away, she have. Oh, Jesus. Right? You know what? Which is why, well, I know, well, I know, which is why, none of, the, none of the puppy them, none of the little puppy them, no favor. <laughs> <laughs> that not nothing to do with me. So, who a dog? So, who a dog? <laughs> eh? Some of them favor. So, well, I Some of them favor. <laughs> well, oh, I God, man. So going back oh to where you start up, are uh, you wrong or are you wrong? We move right along. <laughs> Cheryl in Toronto. <laughs> Cheryl is locked in. Good to have you on board, Cheryl. And of course, Karee in and Canada as well. Denisha over there in Lethal St. Thomas. Men compared to dogs is very accurate statement. <laughs> An accurate comparison. <laughs> well, we're loyal, right? Oh boy, more ways, in more ways than one they can be compared, right? <laughs> um, Lady Sean Hart Hill. And how are you doing? We're not bad girlfriend. Good to have you on board, Miss Hart Hill. Yeah? Yep. All right. Um, well. So how was your week apart from the bun and whatever you did I over the weekend? I didn't get any bun. You well, didn't? I don't know. but <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Oh, my goodness. I, I went it was to work. Great. I went to work and I said to uh, quite a few of the, my female co-workers, no, 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 man, no, get, a, get one bun and no, sprinkle the crumbs all over on her and eat off all the crumbs them off on the body and all them something and none of the crumbs are not drop off of the bed. Something wrong with that? Romantic. Ro who? Romantic. Sounds man, but I don't see any tick in there or row. The row is gone yeah, somewhere else. And sprinkle little things. This is a man's... Yeah, my girl, remember now, Anna, everybody can get the, corny. the grape on them something there. Ew. A bun? Yes, the, the, the season. 
<sighs> Boy. Would you, did you get bun? Did you want any bun? I never fool around it. Why you not fool around it? You must fool around it. Mm-mm. Let me tell you uh, when, when me eat bun. Me eat if bun, it good for, man, um, it good for man, it's good for man too. Last week. I mean, if I see someone one sprinkle bun all over me, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. I just leave it there, tie it to the bed and leave you right there. <laughs> <laughs> then the ants know what to do with him. <laughs> so not, uh, you see? Who is the thought evil? is amusing. The whole no, no, thought about it. The thought it. of even putting it down there alone and, and I, tying it I, to the bed. I never said. It's fascinating. You see, I never said down there. I said sprinkle I'm, it all I'm over me. I'm using my imagination, man. All over me. I'm being imaginative right now. <laughs> 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 that would be a good one, right? Thank you, Andy, my darling. Thank you so much. Um, Denisha, not Denisha, who is it? Um, oh, Denisha, travel. I saw you moved in then. Oh, what? 96.7 should tuned in to Locked In. That's right. And of course, if you're anywhere near Portland right now or Tell across <laughs> Saint T- Mary, St. Thomas, check out the 96.1.5 or 0.7, man. Yeah, yep. man. And keep it locked. So All right, that us, sound like ants are go in a milk. In a milk. In my milk. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Yes, literally. But so, I, I ate mommy's bun and cheese, mm-hmm. and I, I replaced the bun. What, she made it? She baked no, it? No, she had it there, and she told me she wanted no bun. Miss J baked bun. Okay. Miss J, she, she, had baked, it she, and, she um, bakes. I ate off what she had there, and I, I replaced it the following day. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know hmm. almond drops? Yes. I'm not fond of it, really. Really? But I hear it's healthy. Almond drops with the sugar, just, just, like, just like coconut drops. Hi, darling. Good to see you. <laughs> I proved something tonight. Yes. Right? That women are attracted to... Men who eat almond drops? <laughs> no. I'm just wondering where you're going with the story. <laughs> you remember we, we had a show that um, we said um, foreigners like more than likely come and take a man, woman, and them something, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Since night when I walked in, mm-hmm. right? You said, hi, Daddy. Then, then we said, Dad, hey, you just run past me. <laughs> Yan, Yan I man, don't normally greet you hi. Yan I man, don't normally give you that big, well, nice greeting. Yan is man at war. <laughs> right? At <laughs> war. Literally war. But because Dan Dan knew from foreign. No, he's not from foreign. Right? Because Dan Dan knew. No, it's not right? because he's from foreign. It's because Cassidy. I'm seeing him in live Cassidy. and in living colors. You, you ever see, Cassidy, give me the nod of approval. Cassidy, <laughs> you nodded behind my back. <laughs> yes. Have you ever seen Cleo greeted anyone in that way before? Never. No, let me tell you what it ever, was. What, let ever. me tell you what it was. Explain to me. <coughs> Cassie, don't look at me right now. <laughs> you just turn against so, me. So, Cass, you, you remember? So, <laughs> prove it. So, foreigners come to Jamaica for mash up people like No, no, that let me tell you. Was proven Dan today. Dan has always been and one of it. my favorite persons. It's just that we don't get along all the time. Okay. Because I always jump on. Your side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to weigh my words because I can't take you. <laughs> He's always supporting your side. So, but when I saw him now, he's like, I'm always hearing him on the radio, on mm. the, the waves, right? Yes. So I'm like, what happened to Dan Dan? I haven't heard him. So even though we can't agree, you know, we still want to hear him. Okay. So like for three weeks, I was like, I haven't heard him. You know what happened? So I came in now to the shock I got to my surprise. There he was. In person, in mm. flesh, I was ecstatically excited. And you run you up and must jump up on top of him. That. Yes. Okay. And the feeling was mutual, even though we don't get along on radio. So he run, run and jump up on top of yes. you too? <laughs> <laughs> jump on my side, I will jump on his side. <laughs> I, I can tell the people that greeting made my trip. Oh, the greeting we get. We said never, <laughs> never, never, never. Mostly that's why Mookie walk like this and say, "Yo, yo, yo, I'm gone, don't." Because <laughs> Mookie always want a greeting like that. Mookie gets his kiss since evening. What? Yes, you didn't see that one, but he got it. Where? On his cheek. That's which part of cheek? Because Mookie cheek big enough. <laughs> oh, on the right side, the right side he got it. On Far the right, right side. are. Middle right. Middle right. Will you leave Mookie's cheek alone for which far <laughs> right? Mookie, you heard that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big ups to Sivan McPherson in UK, in the UK right now. Probably tuning in or probably he'll listen to watch it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Because of the time difference. Um, Kevin, thank you so much, Kevin. I just love Kevin and Andy, yes, man. Let me tell you something, not bleaching. 
Um, it is your beauty shining bright. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Florida. In other words, you are beautiful. You kinda, you can, no matter words, what like. Ruth says, words can bring you down. Exactly. Oh boy. Well, tonight we do have. A fun field show. Yeah. All right. And um, it's it's one of those moments that, you know, battle, in my view, of the sexes. Right? Hmm. Um, in your opinion, in mm -hmm. your opinion, who, I mean, who do you prefer to work with? Who, who do you think does a better job of uh, being... Yeah, I'm going to... You're asking two different questions. Who do I prefer to work with? Let me answer that question. Um, generally speaking, yes. gener I'm making a generalization now. Mm. Male. Male. Yes, a male boss. Okay. However, you do have female bosses who can do a better job than some male bosses. Needless to say. But generally, I prefer the male. However, if you're going to ask me now, who do I think does a better job? I don't know if I can say the male does or the male. I don't know. I just don't want to. Maybe, maybe that too. Um, more than likely that, is, that it I is. I didn't say that. I didn't say no more than likely nothing. Mm. I'm just saying. You look guilty. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. Um, I do think that in regards to, to, to business generally, males would tend to have... Let me ask you a question. A, a little Who would you prefer being your boss? Greater intuition. Me or DG. <laughs> Why is he putting me on the spot like that? Hello, DG, my darling. I hope you're listening, or are you not? I don't know. <laughs> um, I would I would have DG be my supervisor. Yeah. Oh, your supervisor. I would love to be supervised by DG because she would guide me. She would have more one-on-one -on -one with me yes. and help to direct me in the path that I would want to go. For example, if I were to leave my job now and go into the police force. No, man. What about styles? Uh, let me just finish the man. <laughs> if I were to be in the force, I think I'd want DG. She would be the, the, the consummate you supervisor. Make it, you wouldn't make it as a police. I would. You would not make it as I a police. I would. No. I would focus You're too heavily. stush. I am not stush. What? Ask that pretty girl out there if I'm stush. You're stush. I'm not stush. You don't, have you ever done would, anything I abush? I would do... Have, had you ever done anything abush? I've peed. No, I mean, bush, bush. Eh, eh. <laughs> not bush bush, no. <laughs> that means... Uh, why? How, all right. I let, have climbed an apple tree. Hold well, well, on, let, let me ask you a question. And then. a peach tree. Had, have you ever and been... almost fell. Have you ever been in a situation... Where there's bush around you, yes, and you wanted to do certain things, and you opted not to do it I in the bush. I couldn't do number two there, no. Why? Because you're stush. No, I've been in a wet socks. No, you're stush. Wet socks and sneakers for the whole day. Cheesy food. Is that stush? That's natural for you. Cheese right? on. <coughs> Ouch. That's not stush. <laughs> I've been up. I've been out in the sun, broad hats. You would not make it, make it as a police officer. You would not. I would. You. I can do anything. Anything. Even do number two in the bush if I had to, but I don't have to, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Natalie, uh, good to look, see you. I'm sure DG is not a lady that is easily broken, but I'm sure you would definitely. No, I think break with DG DG's down. guidance and Mr. Julio, um, is it Inspector Julio yes. Francis's guidance, I think I'd do perfectly fine. Yes. M maybe maybe who will can tolerate it, but I think DG could have tolerated Tol DG would. No, D I'm a smart girl, you know. No, I I'm sure DG being the type of disciplinarian that she is, you'd be suspended. I'm a disciplinarian too. No, my girl. DG, please call us right now you or text a, in to tell us in, if you your would. Nails. I would wear the nails that time. You can't wear nails, got training. But you're going to want to do it. No. Why would I wear nails to training? I'm going to go on the ground and crawl. You like can't do makeup on them something, you know. Well, no part, no. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and germs, it is no. <laughs> it is no. You see, ladies and germs, it is no. DG, save me, please. <laughs> it is now ten o'clock. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We're so forward. Yep.
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Are you thinking of a place, extraordinary place where you can get a wide variety of Jamaican cuisine, scrumptious local dishes and at the most affordable price? Zilla's Kitchen has the widest menu to suit your appetite and lifestyle. We're located at Bridge Street, Port Antonio. Place your order for pickup or delivery service. Call us at 453 6030. That's 453 6030. Zilla's Kitchen, the restaurant of choice. We never close. We never close. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? We just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, huh? So, if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware. Opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town. Holy golly! <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Catch the showdown. Social commentary. Tune for tune. E Edge, your love with love song. All happening. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shotgun to the fame. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at StylesFM961. Become a fan on Facebook, StylesFM96.1. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. So, as we said, we said earlier, we have um, Dan Dan in the studio with us. Dan Dan, in your opinion, right? Um, who do you think actually make a uh, better boss? A better boss um, from experience. <coughs> I don't think I'd want to have another female boss. From experience. From experience. What's that? Ex- what was that experience like? I think. There's some, some insecurity in their persona shows up. Yes. When, um, especially if someone who is constant underling is has something something about them, that will probably might feel might make them feel threatened. Threatened. threatened yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so, I, and I've seen it in many different. Many facets. different, and yeah. and because that's what I was gonna say because. You find that a woman feeling threatened is not all the time over insecurity for the job, but it is insecurity of oneself, mm. right? You, 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 you find that even though a woman is a boss, if you have a next 
female in there that's hot. Right? Mm. <laughs> she has serious, you find that, you know, it's not, not in all cases, but it, it, it's, it has happened. Right? And I've had more, have I? Maybe equal amount of female bosses, you know, than, than male bosses. But in terms of the relationship and the nature of my job, the male bosses understand more. You know, I find that a lot of decisions are made on an emotional basis as against a rational basis, right? Yeah, hey, quite so, quite so. I, I remember one instance, you know, where in Seboy, we wanted to order certain items for the department. So we went through the process of getting the quotations and writing our rationale as to why. When we submitted that, the female boss at the time said, but that department didn't have none, so why you need? And that don't make no sense. Because in my opinion, as a boss, you should have realized that neither departments have and said, look, get quotation for all the departments because we have funding. funding. If we don't have funding, let's plan to get the, the funding, get for one department and then the other department. As again, we throw, throw the whole thing and say, boy, since one have, you know, forget it. You know? And I think that's how females are. Do you care I, to agree? I, I also believe that females, female bosses seem to be more under pressure to exert their bossiness. I think that's because of insecurity. Yeah, yeah, it's part of that too. Really? But, but, yes, but, it, really. but it shines through a lot. It could be because of the adverse pressure from male sub offices. No, but if you know your boss, you're a boss. No, no. Yes, I hear you. But I'm saying to you, don't you think that some women, female bosses who exert that bossness, as you put it, um, isn't it? Couldn't it be as a result of the pressure that they undergo from both male and female subordinates? Could be, but if someone is subordinate, there there should be policies that you deal with um, subordination, yes. insubordination. You're right, and then you also <laughs> have to let your stance be known. In what it, it, it in the same way a parent stands firm, no, in the same way the teacher stands you, you firm. You, you a be, boss needs you to know you can't, that you can't, listen, it, this is what I'm expecting. Therefore you exert your as you put it, bossiness. Yes, Come on. Yes, but you can't speak to others as if they're a child. And I'm not you, endorsing you speaking to a person. That's not what constitutes for me exerting your your, your position. Well, ex uh, let's let's have a role play. You're my boss. <clears throat> right? Hey, what a day, what a day. Yes. <laughs> Let's have a role play right now. Lady Cleo is Daddy Rhodes' boss of Cleo Inc. <laughs> Whatever that organization does, she's my boss. <laughs> and she's going to call me to the office for whatever the reason. Right? So call me to the you office. Well, Mr. Jackson, I would like to see you in my office, please. Um, um, I'm doing something right now, ma'am. I think it's urgent, a matter of urgency. So could you postpone a little bit what you're doing? And but make I have a deadline right that now. you previously set, that you said is urgent as well. Mr. Jackson, this takes precedence. Please come to the office right now, please. Do you remember exactly what the matter is, ma'am? Boss. <laughs> No, you see what I'm talking about? Why a woman has to now exert her energy and her power? Because I'm telling this man to come to my office immediately. It's a matter of urgency. And he's telling me all kind of cock story. So, Mr. Jackson. Yes, ma'am? I'm sure you heard me clearly the first time, sir. Yes, I This did. is important, and I'm going to ask you to desist what you're doing at the moment. And please, make way to my office. Okay. All right? I'll be there in five minutes. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Boss is calming down. <laughs> so here you are in my office when you did decide to come in four to five minutes. Right. So, Mr. Jackson, first things first. Yes, ma'am. I think... May I sit, ma'am? Yes, please be seated. Okay. As your superior officer, sir, if you're invited to a meeting and it's a matter of urgency... I think you are out of line to be telling me five minutes time and you soon come and you're not, you're not finished. That's the first thing. So for future, I'm going to ask you, please, if you're called to an office, to a meeting, you need to make way to the meeting. What if I'm in the bathroom? Okay, sir. 
Okay. What and the, the next thing, ma'am? sir, Mr. Jackson. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Jackson, you're out of line. I'm trying to get something. You are out of line, Mr. Jackson. But and let's not be cheeky now. Because you're wearing my patience. Okay, sir? Section, <laughs> section, section 5.8, um, <clears> subsection <throat> 3D of the company policy um, says that communication is a very important part you know, in order for us to have understanding. And, I, and the last time I checked, ma'am, that actually was written by your former husband. <laughs> Uh, and founder, section one. The founder of the company. And section one. <laughs> subsection one A says, I am in charge, and when I say A, you do A. I don't recall that section, ma'am. I don't make you a while ago. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> he's utilizing his authority now because he knows his subsections and sections on me now. So I just had to create my own section a while ago. <laughs> but people, proven point. The males in the company who know that they are sometimes knowledgeable too, as good as the boss is in most instances or even a little better, they use that power over the poor female bosses and it try to intimidate us. No, I, I wasn't. And wear was, our patience down. I wasn't doing that, right? The tolerance level of a woman is by far less. God, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and would snap, right? And get emotional. And and said, come out of my office. Oh, right? Lord. See, one female says, clear, fire the road, man. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Right, Gracie? Fire oh, me. Insubordinate and everything. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I really don't know why you want, you'd want to fire me for something like that. <laughs> I don't know. No, fire. Just give someone to work for you. Occupy your time. All right, Richard is asking, um, oh boy. what are we talking about tonight? Let's read the topic. So, our Vox Pop for tonight, Richard. Yeah, good to have you on board, too, from the UK. So, our, our Vox Pop tonight, it's a, it's a three-part question. Yep. And uh, well, there are some statements. Uh, well, yeah, three-part question. So, between a man and a woman... Which one do you think is a better boss to have? And which one do you think is able to make more rational decisions? Men. Women, I think. <laughs> All right, so I know a friend. I know Sivan would definitely say that men are rational thinkers. Of course. And that women are emotional. emotional. Think oh, God. Did you have to finish my statement? Yes. So between a man and a woman, who do you think it would be a better boss? And which other two do you think is able to make the more a more rational decision? Yeah? Part two says, how would you feel if you found out that your boss is your partner's ex? Uh, uh. And they are still in contact with each other? Hmm. So Daddy Rude, your boss, your male boss. <laughs> is Miss J's ex. Ah, oh my goodness, interesting. Mm, nice. We'll go to part three. Yeah, me know a man. Me know you're going to run, go run fast. <laughs> you know, I have no work you know, because he can't control his emotions with this one. <laughs> and part three even gets stickier. What would you say, Daddy Road, and to who you'd say to? <laughs> if you found out that your boss, your male boss, Daddy Road, was <laughs> making advances at Mrs. J. Lord have mercy on his soul. On his soul, <laughs> or on yours, right? <laughs> on somebody's so, soul. So, <laughs> we need to know tonight. Well, for me, how would I feel if I found Why? out that my female Papa, boss... Papa Cass look uh, very tense. intensive on yes, this one. Yes, yes. <laughs> my, my female boss was the gentleman's ex. Worst recent ex. Mama. They thought, <laughs> just lick me still. I mean, I like, well, I was on, when I was on your side, I was having fun. But for a moment there, it has to be a female boss. That is, yeah, well, of course, it couldn't be nothing else. Brr. <laughs> oh, no. Brr. So, so, my boss, I, and they're still in contact with each other. Ain't nothing really wrong with that, you know. Okay. Nothing really wrong with it, really. So the difference now, though, is how far do they take this contact? Because contact could mean um, him help me get the job. Yeah, it could. You know, and she take me in and all these things, and could. we're having a good relationship. But say, for example, it's not because um, 
you just apply and you get the job. Mm -hmm. Right? And she... I think if she and I get along well, mm -hmm. I will be quite fine with them, with them communicating. Okay, so... Quite fine. Would you let things slide just in the name of keeping a job? Let what slide? <coughs> the, the contact? <laughs> it depends on how deep the contact is. <laughs> All right, say for example, right? Hmm. Say for example, Ooh. you're at work, working late, and um, let me hit start right now. Mm -hmm. Go on. Him come pick you up, mm -hmm. right? But while him a wait by you, him phone ring. Come look for me now. Eh? Hey? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> no, hold on. No one transfer or something is going work. So I can't even tell she off. <laughs> no, what, why? I tell him off probably too. Why? And and, and, and role play now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. Oh, you mean come look for me? What, what, what's that? She knows we're together. How dare she? Boss or no boss? She out of order, out of line. No, Come no. look for you for what? No, then him downstairs in the parking lot. She knows the boy have her like all one next hour for, for work, right? No, she, she, no, she make a call. She well, no, remember, no, no, remember, no, no, she, as a matter of fact, she probably just comes about and make a WhatsApp. Yo, I'll go on, everything smooth. And he said, yeah, man, you know, send me downstairs. Come look for me now. No, man. Eh, 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 Mm -mm. Uncomfortable situation. As, no. As Denise from Barking Lodge, Dennis rather from Barking Lodge said, uncomfortable. Second and third part, very, very uncomfortable. You can't be telling the man to come look for you. Him come and work for it for me. I'm, 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 I'm there wrapping up. And he's to come look for you, look for you for what you have your own man. No, not necessarily. So eh? she, she not pre that way there. She not pre that way and leave. She not pre that way there. No, she, no, she, no, no, no. She have one bag of Pringles. No. You know what I mean? Well, she just knows the boy, man, don't get hungry. Crush it up. And you should have got your yard go cook for the man. No. You never cook and she have like a no, Pringles. The man squally, squally. Not acceptable at all. Drink like a coffee in the office. Yeah, give me an idiot here. No, but <laughs> let's 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 ventilate the entire should, situation. Should send them as a driver to, to send right? It says, uh, how sorry. would you feel if you found out that your boss is your partner's ex and they still are still in contact, right? They still communicate. So for some reason, for some reason, some reason. I would honestly right. expect him. Oh God, it's hard to have that expectation, right? But I would expect him to respect me enough to not be involved anymore with his ex. In no way at all. With your boss. Socially, the person that signs signs your check. Socially, the person where I make you eat. If he's gonna make me uncomfortable by, the by where I make continuing eat. to deal with her on certain levels, then yeah. he doesn't he doesn't deserve to be with me in the first place, or I don't deserve to be with him in the first place. But even if because he needs left. to respect my job. No, but even all right. But even if we no left, right? I she I make you eat. We all she hungry. No, I mean, I mean, I make me eat my youth. I mean, I work for my money. I <laughs> and pay, she... Only pay she has insurance and me get paid. <laughs> she not feed me my youth, so fix that. So, <laughs> so you go home, everything is all right. You go home and thing and normally, you know, everybody can do whatever. Nowadays, everybody around the table mm -hmm. having, um, you know, them lunch, them dinner, supper, whatever it is, messaging them friends, t catching up on, on social media, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You know, everything, right, go to your bed, get a proper sort out and thing, right? When you go to work tomorrow, right? Your boss say, hi, hi, Miss Lewis, how you doing? Um, John, John tell me, the, 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 the chicken and rice, it tastes good last night. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> chicken and rice? Eh? Which chicken and rice? The one, the one where you cook for him. So how do you come for this cause my chicken and rice? Then when on the road the table and you see my message. Jeez. And then she have the nerve. Full full boss that. She no. She have the nerve. I dumb boss. Hmm? To be telling me that he said the chicken and rice was nice. No, but she, she not. What she, else she, is she omitting no, that no, they talked about? No, no, she not finished. What else did he say was nice? Well, I know. Well, I know. <clears throat> well, I know. Well, I know. Well, I know. She not hmm. finished. You know, so I couldn't cook it like that. But we make up otherwise. <laughs> I'm not liking this discussion. <laughs> so not liking it. Yo! What would you say if you 
Wait, what, what would you say unto who if your boss was making advances at your partner? So if my boss, female boss, no. was... Female. Oh, yeah, man. Female boss. Someone go to first or two. <laughs> female boss making advances at Mrs. J. What are you going to do? We are, we are go to. Him. Why, why not Miss J? The motor other man, straight up. So I suppose she has smiled. No, no remember, <laughs> you know, re- well, oh, I know. No, Andy. Re- re- oh, man. Re- re- no, remember, no. remember, I am the one that openly declared, and maybe Santa must didn't know this, I openly declared, say, we fight for pride. <laughs> we will fight for pride. We will fight and so lose. So you go to him. I would fight and your lose boss. For, fi- for pride. So you're going to lose both your pride. Well, I'm gonna lose, lose my... your tooth. Well, lose your job. Yes. Lose an eye. I'm a woman. Are you a woman? Yes. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna lose me all nev- that for yes, me never, yes, me never punk out. Pride, pride, pride. The boy out of order. I have a war for that. Pride before this because honor. yes, death. Death rather. Yeah. See? No. Look at it this way. The man knows say, am my woman, mm-hmm. right? Him and my boss, so in my opinion, it's going to be an ego thing. Mm-hmm. Him I try to prove a point. Prove a point, yeah. Right? Him drive him range, and to me, a range is strange. <laughs> right? So, right away, right away, you can't tell me, say, I'm not hype my hype. Hype on you. Yeah. And you have a war for that. But it's, it's, it's his ex. No, man. This is a different. This is a different. Mm-hmm. So, the third one we are talking about, you know. I third one we are talking about. Okay. So I said, the third one we are talking about. So, when you look at it, you know, you have to defend something. All right. Dan, Dan, send me no war then. You know what I say? A friend of mine, right? Although my friend kind of rang still, but I'm going to tell you what you do. <laughs> a friend of mine, him have, him have him woman, but him have a woman on the side. The woman on the side now, kind of start, feel like she needs somebody, and she start make a talk with a man. I think the man, they are foreign. The man left R. He's from Jamaica, you know. Foreign man again. Foreign man again. But he, he's, he, he's Jamaican and him have him uh, and him whatever out here. And the man leave her with a bima. Uh. Right? To all it hurt my brethren, you know. When my brethren left, you know. A pee 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 on the man bima, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the man out le- of order. The man, sure. the man leg out on the man ban it. You know what I mean? So Right away, I know certain things. If, if I can't wear him, I can damage something for him. You see me? I say, him vegan can punch her every single sanitary day. <laughs> so, I have to do something. I can't just make it go so. Just for pride alone. Right? Just for pride alone. All when you sit down in a chair, I sit down for bubble gum or something. I have to start. All kind of stuff, I have to start taking. Right? I have to for her still, you know. But I still, my vengeance. I still, and she never well, know well, where I well, 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 But you can't. I, 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 boss, I met the advance, you know. Yeah, but you know, you're telling suppose she has smile. <laughs> she said that, you know. So, I talk based off, based off of the scenario. Yeah but, yeah, but the smile doesn't necessarily mean acceptance of the advance. Why? Well, you, you, you have a point, but <clears throat> you can't tell a man where I think irrational at that no. point. <laughs> no. Very much irrational. No, what's rational is that you're going to make the boss know, say, look, boss, I'm not there to work for this thing, you know. So, they no go on then. <laughs> go on, man. Go on. You don't have to work here. <laughs> like the man I'm going to tell you, no, and still look at your woman. You're going to lap at you like dog. No one cares like dog. <laughs> You're going to lap at you like dog. No, man. Section, section 15.2 uh, the work code. You can't have for that. <laughs> no, no. That, that no, with clear as a boss, no. Should I say, boy, you're out of order. <laughs> right? But cast one box pop. Well, before we go to the Vox Pop, I would say something, of course, to him first. To the man? Yes, depending on how I see him responding and how he seems, whether he seems very intrigued by her advances or not. I would say something to him first. And then, of course, if he doesn't put a stop, because I think he can put a stop to it. You heard of the situation with um, the angel and being the man, right? Oh, yes, I loved his response. Right. I love that. We discussed that one shortly. Uh, mm. But it was... Um, I love it. To my understanding, it's not the first time in recent days that they have, done... they have danced together. Oh. They have danced before? Yes. And he told her no this time because this time. he thinks it would have been a, um, inappropriate. An, an inappropriate to his, his girlfriend. Was she there? 
at the uh, venue? I don't know if it was if it if it is inappropriate to that or it's just the word inappropriate. Oh, okay. Um, but is it really? I think it, it it was the best shot for him to take. But is it inappropriate? I would think so. What makes it to inappropriate? the song that says "Wife a wife, mate a meet." Are you serious? She, aren't they still legally bonded? I mean, I know. I think they are. Dance and dance. No, no, no. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> it's in a woman's world, honey. Sorry. <laughs> not in a woman's world. I'm sorry. I saw a video where a woman was dancing. But, but they're entertainer. Me not care. I saw, they're humans first and people have feelings. I think <clears throat> when um, it's alleged that a particular art um, movie star got in involved with the female, it wasn't um, because they were entertainers. He was furious. Yes, Beanie Man was. And had every right to be. How dare you make a move like that? We talk after and that one. Curious how? He was mad. Who wouldn't be mad? You don't take certain advances from persons because they're... Yeah, baby mother. <clears throat> but as I was saying, you don't tell a woman, your girlfriend, your ex comes up to you, or your estranged wife comes to you and asks you for a dance to a song. Wife a wife, mate a mate, and you, whether your girlfriend is there, yes or no. Come on now. What are you what message are you sending? No, I thought of it I thought it was no. appropriate for him to, to say no. And he did. Was that in an entertainment forum or I'm not sure the wedding I think so, but I don't yeah. care where, where it was. You don't need to dance with him. Go sit down somewhere. So am I do up on the stage? What was he doing on the stage? Mm. He could very well have been on the stage. He doesn't Performing. have to dance. He doesn't have to dance with her if he chooses not to. He has a freedom of choice, which he has expressed. What's the issue? She asked him, and he had every right to say no, and he did. Kudos to him. She asked? That's what I heard, that she asked. She asked. She advanced, you know, for a dance with him on that particular song. I would have given him a slap had it been me coming when he came home if he had danced with her. That's all. <laughs> One good punch. <laughs> hey, you're so like my mother, you know. <laughs> Come on. No, clear, wife no, or wife. No. No, what are you saying? Hey, Come on. No, well, like, Ladies out there, you no. know what that song is saying. Wait a second. She, if she, if she is still legally joined to him hey. as it is perceived. No, no, no. Wife or wife, mate or mate. Hey. You're suggesting. Wait a second. It is suggesting... Only I say, this song only says wife or wife. Can I punch you mate. right now? I don't know if you're dancing nobody. It is that I, no matter who you're with, I am the wife, so she automatically is mate. And what if he's looking toward this woman as his next uh, wife? Then, then what, it's insulting. No, no but I want, so what's wrong with the mate? What's wrong if you're a mate? She ain't no mate. Hmm? She's no mate. They're she separated. <laughs> it's what I'm about, though. It's what I'm about. Yeah, Don't but, put your girlfriend in any mate position by dancing to her with, with that song to that song with I, her. I don't. No I, way. I, I don't Cleo. think lyrics are lyrics. I, lyrics are lyrics. I don't lyrics think lyrics. Are lyrics. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. I see them lyrics. We are lyrics. We are causing young people them to your mash yes, up them brain. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Lyrics it was meant. have message and meanings. No, and I, I don't. I don't think it, it was meant in that. Both of them are, are past each other. You think so? I believe so. You believe so? Yes, I do. You're a male from Mars. <laughs> no, no. Why should I come and say, let us sing, let us sing to, um, Why don't we all just when God drunk? get ready, you got to move, you got to move, or some other Christian song, or some other gospel song, or some other song, what a day when war <laughs> becomes a thing of the past and <laughs> peace, we would have it at last. What about that? What about... So amazing how this world was made. Suppose she I sing, wonder if suppose, God is a woman. Yeah. Suppose, what about that song? Suppose she sing, um, Lisa. Me right. say no dance to no wife and no wife meet and no meet with me. Suppose, no. Suppose she sing, if the man live. Worse. <laughs> no, no play that neither. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Ladies uh -uh. and gentlemen, it is now 9.30. When oh, we get back, we're going to listen to one of our Vox Pops. And the time is brought to you by VJ <laughs> Printing Service. Did I say 9.30? It's 10.30. My bad. All right. We're a man from the Mars. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing <laughs> Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay. We soon come. <laughs> 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited, your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland. Shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor. Find unbelievable prices on tiles, toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures, vanity sets, doors, windows, lumbers, and much more. Get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale. Visit any three locations in Portland, Buff Bay, St. Margaret's Bay, and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware. Your foundation starts with us. The Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment every Saturday at 12 noon on Smooth Sailing. If your program is not on the edge, then it's not on the cutting edge of entertainment. News, reviews, interviews, its songs, and so much more. The Entertainment Edge, telling you all about entertainment on Styles FM with your host, Shelly Watson. Hey, it's Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment. entertainment. On Saturday, April 14th, OA Oasis Sports Bar in Old Baytown Square presents their first anniversary. Me, I drink wine and ginger. The moment for wine, but I think I'm gonna play it. Musical entertainment by Bigger Five. Admission is free. Complimentary shots. Lock the date. April 14th. Oasis Sports Bar. Sports Bar. Old Baytown Square. Get there. This event is endorsed by Styles 96 FM. Babes, just follow me now. Right over there, sir. Through that hole there. But babes, be curious if you go in. The place too dark. Just right over there, sir. Right over where the hole there. Aye, come man. I must get a bite me. Bills me no like come on them places after dark, you know. So wait, are they like a back them afraid of? Show man, we almost reach. <laughs> and them something that I care about that with you know. That's why we make sure we walk with all my Bible. You think they're gonna make rolling calf reach me like last year? But kiss my brown fall, how them people are? How them places are so crowded? How when they pass through the Fan Fusion Episode 5, Tipsy Islands, Saturday, July 7th, starting at 7 p.m. sharp at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio. Be there. Who said that woman can't done? And them said the woman don't come to done. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk and big ups to Antoinette from Wynn Road who should be listening in right now to Real Talk. All I right? have a question for you. What does Shabaranke mean by woman can't done? <laughs> it's clear there. I don't know. We can't finish. We can't finish. No. The, 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 the glimity glamity gloom will always be there. What's that? That glue? <laughs> uh, 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 I like that song, by the way. Yeah. Um, I think a man will more finish um, done than a woman. Yeah. But you know, so women are more likely to retire. From them thing there first than men. Look for retire from that activity. There. Yes. <laughs> so are them but done first? So no. you're done? No, no, no. They're not finished. They just stop. There's a difference, Dan. There's a difference. When you stop and when you're done, it's two different things. Men, though, on the other hand, who no can done? Because mm. when you do some, yeah, can't go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't trust me. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see what 6074 is saying. Um, 607, yeah. The program, you hot right now. My boss, an ex girlfriend, man, and I'm the best boss in the world. He make me have work straight. 
Mad. From G Money. Big up yourself, G Money. Yeah, good boss. Good boss. Lisa in Atlanta says, Woman just can't done. Period. <laughs> That's right, Lisa, honey. <laughs> Nodet says, True Miss Cleo. Them easy dead. I'm if it tell your sister. Them dead like like snap. Yeah. But every certain age, them just like zoom, gone. You have to drop a Viagra and all these medicines, you know, to help them and so on. But no, no, we we just there. And when we say, Oh, you know what, I've had enough. I'm tired of this. We just stop. We don't, that, we don't finish. You know, so another that. Is what? If you, if you find some man dead or not, the man might be dead for that particular woman. Uh, no, no, no. no. That, don't, don't, don't try and fix it. But that yeah, man, you're dead, don't man. Try and fix it. Right now, you're dead, that man. That might you're be true me. in just a few cases. But be realistic, men. I know you hate to, to, to face the reality mm -hmm. here, but the reality is you were born and you were made in such a way that you can die and you can done. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> stick up in you. That, 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 that's a medical fall fallacy, you know. That's a medical. Have you seen that men can't done? Men done, but it's but it's a medical fallacy that sometimes some men actually subscribe to. That's why them them flap. I know who we fought. They subscribe no, to it. We're, we're, we're it's not, done. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not oh, no. uh, yeah, yeah, all right, let me tell you something. You know, say it is this morning. Me and my wife have a discussion about this um age, this age thing. Are you and finishing? Me? <laughs> Just no, no, I'm going to tell you something. No, no, the conversation. You'd have troubled me too. The, con yes. the, the, the conversation <laughs> went that we were, we were talking about older men wanting to date younger women because we know of a situation right mm -hmm. now. Really nice young girl. And this elderly man, literally, she refusing and she refusing and she refusing. The man rent vehicle for her, right? Him do all sorts of nice stuff for her. Mm. And she's actually refusing it. Yes? Yes, she's refusing it. I think she did a good thing if she's not interested. She's, yes. Some women right? take the man's things and not interested. And I'm saying to her, I said, boy, well, if me up in her age and me have the money, right? And me not have nothing to do with the money. I can't live off a two pound of flour. And I can't afford six pound of flour. Why me not give away four? Hmm. To a young filly. Hmm. Right? Why me not give away four? But why wouldn't she? What was Mrs. J's reaction? What? <laughs> she said, hope, hope if me dead before you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't <an> idiot. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, let's see what Andy says. That is why, I know Andy, I know. That is why we have to just keep working overtime. When you do, you're done faster. Be careful now. <laughs> Kadian says good night. Good night, guys. Good night to you too. Landy say when the man them done the woman, them just a come. That's right. <laughs> but let's see what the Vox Poppers are saying out there, you know? Yeah. Boy, an honest truth, you know. Remember in previous jobs, my my bosses are were always women. I remember there was only one time I had to deal with a male um, boss and he was cool till me till they bring in data come work. <laughs> but, but everything good, everything good otherwise. What me prefer, me prefer the female bosses because them kind of make some different decisions when they come on to money part of the business and uh, based on the performance no emotion to it and once you cross the line and go mess with the boss then the emotion will come like but otherwise you just stick to it well find out the boy my boss am my ex am my ex am my, am my girl ex uh, nothing to do with me then i contact well kudos but Boss, you decide some of a put chat, then boss, you better make sure same wife and them them look good. Come here, go put chat too. Yeah, you can't stop a man from fling chat off for next man, man. You can't stop that, you know. But, you know, if you just make sure some few wife, if your wife you not look good, then I'm going to raise my peer. <laughs> Yes, I would confront my boss if me find out, say, yeah, he might look my fiance. And if him fire me, we go to the consumer affairs or workers union, any one of them which is the right one, yeah, and report him. Yeah, that's the way I see it. For me, I think 
in some institution a woman is a will be better and in most institution for me a man would be a better boss right but for me I have to know that my my boss is my partner ex he, he me not go feel comfortable because I think too much judgment to come down to me I not think me that work comfortably in that environment no no for me that i know no me no one know say my my boss i'm a man ex no sir Mm-mm. that's that is definitely a no no for me but in the work sector these days me see women being better bosses but really and truly in is not in every not in every institution some of the institution it's better to have a male be the boss than a woman because yes r- racial racially discussion most of the times women is more judgmental than a man yes and on certain things but for me i think i would rather have a meal as my boss it left to the institution i will left to the company that me working with because it all based off of the institution or the field that you're working in for to, to for deal with the person fitting as the boss because some institution no a woman now go handle it right and some institution a man now go handle it right so for me 90 percent i do i would rather have a meal as my boss but if it's a woman and I'm my husband my my partner ex definitely me no want a job there because guess what too much rational i see now come down to me and me no depend on that real talk real talk it is welcome back i love to hear charm all the time can i tell you welcome back to the show guys um we go to the text line a bit here and uh my dear friend um holistic guru i've callers that so often that i have actually her, her real name has slipped me but i think she's in new york is it tell, text me and tell me if you're actually in new york holistic guru she says um with the part about the woman inviting the boss inviting him to come up she says, Lady Clear, for once, I'm going to disagree with you. If she tells him to come up, um, I would say um, he could go, you know, use the opportunity to, one, see if he is, if he did not ask, but say to me. If, not, uh, if she didn't ask him where he's going, if he would actually say to her, you know, the boss invited me up or whatever. She wants to see if he would actually <laughs> say it to her. So she would allow him... Sure, go on up. That's one. And two, um, use the opportunity to see what exchange takes place between them. Laugh out loud, she We're says. supposed to work. I know that it's dangerous waters, but I want to see if feelings are still there. My love, honey, no. me not going down that oh, <laughs> dangerous water path at You're all. You're not risking it. Uh-uh, I ain't risking it. But, but what she said... I'll find out some other way. But what she said... That, that, that she, you finish? Yes. Uh, well, she, let me see the rest of this. Not even strange women I don't want him to dance with. Much less him ex. Baby mother, that is out of the question. No way. Holistic guru. Thank you very much, pretty girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm happy well, with you. You're the part of now. Women, are, women are agree with her, not all. Do you <laughs> think that the man should, by whatever reason, respect her or whatever it is, him have an obligation for to tell her, say, um, the boss called me? Of course. Why? Of course. No. Put your woman's curiosity at rest. No, she could very be wondering, now, this is no ordinary boss calling you to just um ask you all it's a favor whether to, to tighten a screw let me not use that example <laughs> let me just not that example kind of like that but, part. I knew, I knew oh, you would. Sure. yeah but this is not no ordinary Yo. boss inviting you up to do something simple this is your ex for crying out loud the woman you used to be with what you are going to do with her in her office in the night 
That, no, 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 star, eh, eh, can't work. No, man, listen. Can't work. Olivia, listen. yes, pick up yourself. She's in Jamaica now. Good to have why, you home. Why would I need to ask or tell you that, yo, the no, boss ma- call me? So tell me something. No, if, hold listen, on, hold on, listen, hold on. Listen, you know me listen, already. You know? listen, I'm going to go listen, there. Listen, I'm no going to go there. Daddy on, no. I'm going there with you first. You stick that pin right there. Mm. So Dan Dan is my boss, your boss, my ex, mm. and I'm down there. I'm waiting on you to go to dinner because we're going to dinner tonight. Mm. I'm waiting on you, yeah? But your boss, let me not even say my ex. Your boss calls me on the phone. Mm. Hey, Cleo, what's up? How are you doing? Is that USC Park downstairs? Uh, yeah, it's me. Um, could you come for a minute? I'm not sure. And you all probably all, I call my phone and now get me. Me gone up an elevator <laughs> up to the 13th floor. Yeah? You okay with that, brother? <laughs> We're going to just have a chit-chat about the birds and the bees, remember? Yeah. That's okay, brother? How would I... You, After nine in the night? How would I know that... Miss... I, how, oh, uh, uh, Olana, Olana? So don't tell you then. Olana, Olana, so Olana, how man. would I know... Olana, mm-hmm. How would I know that you're, you're gone to the ninth floor? So... So I'm my qu- so don't it, tell it, you that it comes back to, am I obligated? Of course. Wouldn't you want to know where I'm going? That I went upstairs. First and foremost, and no. First, first, first and foremost, it it is obvious based on what you said a while ago. She said where she's going, so she now seek permission because where about I can tell me for. <laughs> Yes. Eh? Make it boy. Exactly. So 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 so, so, so <laughs> is, is it an obligation? It am is. I am I, I seeking permission? I may tell you where I go. No no no. Me I go set up myself. No no no. You shouldn't go. One. Hmm? And if it is a case where you're not imagine, certain what the man is up to, you, you, don't you go. Can, you can't imagine your dog says and a boss send you a pick. Eh? You have to go upstairs. <laughs> wicked boss that do. Eh? That wicked you have to go upstairs. You have to go upstairs. You have to go upstairs. Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> when, when we, we fell, fell in love. love. All right. We were <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sir. Me <laughs> figure ask. No, Guru. Me not come to you and say nothing to you. <laughs> Daddy Road. Charm says, Daddy Road, stop talk rubbish. Stop upset, Charm. Eh? Stop Yo. upset, Charm. Lisa says, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Let's see what Lisa says. <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfortable to work for his ex. No, sir. I think for women, it would be worse than for the men. I think so. Um, picture frame, that's Gary in Whitehall, says, was listening along, all along. And big up yourselves as well. Yeah. Badly. Hot topic tonight. Richard in the UK. No. Me nah lie still with all these questions. That's why the man them happy with a dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, come on your business. <laughs> Burn up that dolly, you hear? <laughs> why, Richard? We can't agree with that one, you know. Necrophilia uh-huh. that year. <laughs> Necrophilia. Oh boy. Let's see what Charm is saying. That the, let's see what Charm is saying. We have had well, those other ones already. Alright, 9801. 9801. Laugh out loud. Some of the boss them too bright. Them we oh where is it? Second. Um hmm, them fit this we poor man just fit the job. Yeah, they will this the man or the woman just for the job. That's true. And that's not nice. Yeah, that's not nice. Um, my money, me at work, fa, meet or late. Meet or late, I care zero. zero. <laughs> not it. <laughs> oh, boy. Chami says, me definitely not work. That's de- so at all. all. <laughs> But sometimes, you know, jobs are so hard to get. If you have your good up, good up job, because it's your man's ex yeah, but, or your woman's ex, you can just leave it. But at them, at them empowerment where, where, where people give bosses that that inculcate their bosses for continue to them thing, you know? But guess what now? Dan Dan, the nearer you stay to the boss, still you have a better chance of knowing what's happening when you're gone far out, gone work. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you can't slow, slow the we're relationship. Talk. You know? True, true. We're, we're, we're going to talk a reality, right? <laughs> we're happening right across the world. I'm one of the youth them listen to this. You have to be conscious in your mind, right? You have to be very conscious in your mind. I know so you have enough boss out there where not necessarily manipulate 
them authority to get with a woman. Abuse it, yes. And that woman could be your woman. Right? You have this thing right now where, where, when you're Me Too, we're grown. The Me Too saga, we're a whole heap of top rich. I eat, I eat rich um, Russell Simmons right now. We're a whole heap of top rich um, people out there where them are revealed now, say, when, the, when, when they were getting up in society. I want to get that break. They have to subject themselves to certain amount of advances from especially male top class guru. Okay. Right? Now, I know I never did it, but I know as usual have a different view upon it still. Because a lot of a lot of people out there are attracted to what do you call it now? The power. Right? They are attracted to they are, are attracted to the power <laughs> and subject themselves to that attraction. It's, it's almost like say wait I say no, it's almost like a an executive groupie. <laughs> right? And know that they are no longer at a groupie level. That attraction because after them know the man and, and them have for them money. Because I be a rich woman right now, you know, I come out at the at the, at the, at the, at the closet, you know. Mm -hmm. That attraction is no longer there because for the money they're at a certain level now. They don't need that break. They don't need to run up and down and say yes sir, no sir, so on and so forth, so on and so forth, right? When Bill Cosby did in a film problem with all of these women, mm -hmm. right? And most of these women are women of not of the kind of financial status mm -hmm. and where them rich women are now, right? None of them never said, boy, Jano, Bill, Bill is not this, the only person with this. Because enough of with Bill, thing, enough of the case, them throw out. Enough of the case, them with Bill Cosby throw out. If not, all of them throw out. They don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. But this, this Me Too thing, I reveal, said enough of the man, them wealthy, 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 wealthy men out there. I, I must say, I'm um, only where I'm named. Russell Simmons, I must say, the only black one who get caught up in this. Mm. But, but, but if you watch that one, they're keenly, you know. Because mm. look like him alone, don't forget trap, right? But a lot of women are attracted to successful men, mm -hmm. right? Let me, let me put it that way. Potentially successful or men. Or potentially successful men. Because the same right? thing happens in, like in college sports, you yes. know, in an NCA. Yes. Mm. MC, MC Abala would, would probably be the next Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and every woman wants. wants yeah. From yeah. now. Yeah. From, from yeah. now. Yeah. So, so they pretty much. They must scout him out. He's he he has been what 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 the term what 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 them say um groomed then yeah. right. But in the working world, so at our level, then mm -hmm. there are it is pretty much the same thing where a lot of women allow themselves allow themselves right <clears throat> because of maybe they think that they can be the next wife, right? And a lot of men. Mm -hmm. Right? Sit and wish them can be the next husband. So the difference is the subordinate, right? The, the, the man boss might see her young girl, whatever, and she's attractive, right? And make an advance, as well, would probably make an advance of another, to another woman, mm -hmm. and she give in, but she probably wouldn't give in to the next youth at her level. Right. But it will be perceived as manipulation. And the other, and a female boss. If she don't say anything. <laughs> if she don't say nothing. But, but then right? in some cases too, right? some of these girls who's, who give in, they have their mind set on what you just said. And the prize. And the right? prize. No. When it don't work out. Mm -hmm. Cry rape. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord have right. mercy. Right? I'm not saying that some of it isn't genuine. Yeah. But it's also the reality of, of what ha what's happening as well. Now, on the other hand, with a female boss, right, and the next youth now with dead up on a lower level, and want to make a talk of her because she's attractive. She wear her heels and her stocking and so on and so forth and thing on him, you know, fantasize. Mm -hmm. What are the chances of that youth brave enough to go make a talk? And what are the chances, the chances of the boss saying yes? Say, well, approaching him. I don't think she would do so easily. Right. So what happened? What 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 no, what she, what 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 she, what, 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 she, what, 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 what I'm saying? Dan Dan, irrespective of whether the person is a boss or not, mm -hmm. 
is the same thing now when Cleo the right here, so Daddy would the right here, so and, and, and say Daddy would like half Cleo. Would Daddy would make a talk of a Cleo? Naturally, Daddy would, would make a talk, talk of a Cleo as a man, but if Cleo did it, that Cleo, now going to make a talk of a Daddy would. Mm -hmm. So the hierarchy, yeah. is, is, it, it is simple. Nature playing itself, save and except say at one point there's an alpha male about, mm -hmm. right? And at the same thing, the woman boss, whether she's at the same level, she need to probably approach or advance the youth. And, and if she does, because there are exceptions, if she does, I think it will be on the basis that not so much that she wants a man for a husband per se, but maybe that she wants to get her groove oh on with somebody who's a hot stud. Maybe this guy looks good. Maybe he has a granana printing out through his semi-tight pants or something. And she thinks he's just hot and sexy. Like a Shamar Moore or a Tyrese or oh, hallelujah. Now, so she sees that and she's going to be like, ooh, I want him. Whether he's married or have a woman, or I don't care. I'm the boss and I'm going to stop that authority because I want him. And she'll go after him. So I think a woman who makes an advance um, after, at, um, after a subordinate or a sub officer would be on that grounds. And it happens. Maybe not frequently, but it mm. does happen. Yeah, but they're unlikely to be um, repercussions. In right, because he'll just play along because it's like the best of both worlds to him. Sure. The boss wants me. <laughs> Anything she says, I'll give in. Because some of them stay so. And then can get a bigger money for carrying to home and a yard. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and get fancy car for driving up and down in a. With she in it. <laughs> <laughs> we do it night. The hey, boss. No, man. You woman, I you know, borrow the, the boss, you send him out. Borrow the car and keep... Oh, Jesus. Now, me and come on and see my drive boss car. You know, we are, are going with that. You know, I so you know, we are going with that. We're for your day. <laughs> <laughs> We're for your day. <laughs> no. Eh? Drive up boss car every day, so. No, it's not something, all right, about that. And I got a boss yard. You are gardener. Leave it to the gardener. No, I... Lisa in Atlanta says, I don't want to be anywhere around my partner's ex. X is X. And X mean wrong bang, right? Mm. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Richard in the UK says, Me prefer a woman, boss. Still, me don't even want to see my wife ex. Much less do be <laughs> no, him be my boss. Me I left that way that day. I guess. I guess left that way that day. Yeah. Um, Charm says X is wrong. And so another female, was it Lisa, who said she prefers a female boss, I think? Um, Cassidy, let's see what Lisa says here. I think Lisa had said that she preferred um, a male boss, was it? Wasn't Lisa? Yeah, it was. As a woman, sorry, I s to say, I think a male boss is better. All right, I know I read that some, some time ago. Yeah. So overall, uh, yeah, pa, 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 a, pa, yeah, pa, a reason level, yeah. a, a male boss, I think a little bit more, more, rational. more, more balance. Yeah, you know, more balance, you know, in a certain certain level. Female you know. bosses have a lot of estrogen running the show. And not you are admitting that. Testosterone. <laughs> in all fairness, yes. Real talk. Based on, I'm comparing based on the things I've seen. Somehow I, I feel like I, I'm your truth serum, serum tonight. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the next Vox Pop is saying. So in terms of um, approaching an individual, right, what would you say to your partner? Like the, the, the boss I make an advance of your partner. And right? then how, by the way, how would I have known that? What did would he you tell say? me or did I find out? Either way? Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fact that he tells me, I'll give him a thumbs up for that, because yeah. he didn't have to tell me, for one. Right. The fact that he tells me he's not... Um, I mean... I, 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 I take it he's not enthused about it. Mm. So I'll advise him as to what to do. Not necessarily, because... Yeah, you're right, not necessarily. Yeah, because, be, 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 because when I come and say, boy, mom, you know, say, your boss, see me today and ask me for my number. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, fine. So when she calls me, we're going to tell when she calls you. It's always good to yeah, she give, give mm. her, she ask her for your number, not a problem. Yeah, but on, on what grounds and why? Well, because... What will start happening now after she well, gets the number? Well, um, she knows uh, me used to draw a plan on them things. So you care? And she... <laughs> 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 Yo, 11 o'clock. <laughs> a good timing. Ooh. 
11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. And when you're afford a fan fusion, you're going to see what Native Audio Stage and Lighting does. Yep. Mm-hmm. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors Get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards We can satisfy your printing needs Whether it is for presentation to your clients Or for submitting building and subdivision application Make it VJ Printing Services Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares We will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need We do high quality white paper printing That is water resistant and never fades Unlike traditional blueprint For more information call VJ Print at 893 Babes, just follow me now. Right over there, sir. Through that hole there. But Babes, be curious if you go in. The place too dark. Just right over there, sir. Right over where the hole there. Aye, chum man. I'll mask it or bite me. Babes, me not like come on them places after dark, you know. So wait. Are they like a back them afraid of? Chum man, we almost reach. <laughs> And then something I'm making about that with you know. That's why we make sure we walk with all the Bible. You think they're gonna make rolling calf reach me like last year? But kiss my brown fall, I wouldn't be player. Oh the place is so crowded. I when they fun to go. Fan Fusion episode 5, Tipsy Islands, Saturday, July 7th, starting at 7 p.m. sharp at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio. Be there. Oh, said that woman can't done. Can't and them said the woman don't come to done. Clifford Guest House, sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, people. Yeah, and we go back to the Vox, well, not the Vox Pop, the text messages on the WhatsApp connection to see what our people are saying as it relates to who they prefer as the boss, if it's the male or the female boss, and what would you do if it is that your boss is your present partner's ex? Um, well, not it says, suppose you were working before a change in management. And it happens to be your ex that is the new manager. No, Daddy Road, what you would I do? When you only found out in staff meeting, would you keep the job or would you leave the job? If I'm you think job is easy to forget? No, you mean, you mean if, if it is my... If your boss, yes, I'm happen, ex? The, the ex, your ex happens to be the person getting the job now, taking the job now. I'm an ex? Happens to, no, happens to be your wife's ex. Oh, that's she asked. Yes, pretty much what she's asking. No, that's not what she asked. She said, if I'm my ex, it's my new Suppose manager. you were working before a change in management and yeah. it happens to be your ex. Okay, that is a new manager. Yeah. Oh, what would you do? I think the up, man. Eh. Yeah. So why have a fear? Why have a fear ex in the up, to Up her. It think up, man. It think up. Let's see what the other message says. I man. have a small stroke if it's Miss Jackson's ex. I can tell you that much. Carla says, it's not your loan draw plan. But you want to come to some interior decorating. And a yellow can interior. Decorate. <laughs> what I'm sure want. I'm Nine, sure about. <laughs> Nine eight oh one. 
Landy say, okay, we got that one already. Okay, say the poor boy start to wash bus car <laughs> and drive it. At that time, you can tell something going on. True, <laughs> Landy. True, true, true. Wash car and all these things. I'll go buy, go buy lunch car come. Eh? She can't drive for herself. Hey. Uh, no, but I don't hey. any, any, anybody you trust for carry you have hey. to angle your food. Hey. Anybody. Lisa says, good night. I prefer the male boss. Only thing they can ask for is a dance. True, true, true. And either yes or no for you, right? The female boss is too bossy. If I have a female boss and she's my partner's ex, I would talk to my partner if she's making advances towards him. What will you talk to him, say? Listen to me now. Listen to me now. <laughs> make sure, say. Any old shop put an argument. I see where you can find your yes, finger. Yes, man. Same way. Listen, I'm serious. You're not going to with me now. No, look, look, right. on, look on me and do it. More, more obviously, look on me and do it. Yeah. <laughs> look on me and do it. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, never turn the butt before the so butt grows. Listen to me. Yeah. I know say you and one Miss Marie. Never call her Mrs. or Miss whatever, Miss Marie. I don't want Marie. Yes. No one Marie. One she. Marie she. I mean, no, say so you're not used to that. Let me tell you this. Any oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you man, you call me for it. All you Cassidy. Make sure say. She's not come call, call you like she used to call her when day. If you go down the road and come buy this and be try your best here for an hour, you know. Oh, because I never want to see. Never want to see my car. Never see me, no want to see my right. car. All right, for, for make, make things sure. easier and 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 trans me and you, me well, not, I be a side chick for nothing, let, girl. Let's make oh. things easier and transparent. Mm -hmm. Right? Bam, you got to work, right? <laughs> you see me come, so you normally know, care food got to work. Cook breakfast, I cook the breakfast and think I like how I deal with the breakfast, mm -hmm. right? Banana, dumpling, yam, boiled ripe banana, and salt mackerel. Boiled ripe banana? No, planting, ripe planting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? And, and salt mackerel. Right? <laughs> and I said, I'm sure out one, I'm sure out two. I said, What's in my Give Marie this. Left way. <laughs> Left. No, what I. Who will you marry? Oh, you make it fit. You don't ever get that. <laughs> me, me not go upstairs. I'm not going to get well, the janitor. <laughs> me not go upstairs. Can I for the janitor? Yeah. Not she not getting it. Me not go upstairs. She's not getting it. I'm sorry. So, you're the janitor, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you're the janitor, you know? <laughs> eh? You yeah, carry my food. Go, go get the janitor. <laughs> eh? I prefer give him than give it to her and not giving it to her. Just make sure something is soon not tight up, tight up. Because your old fire tick then say easy for catch. So no bother with it. No, no, ramp with me now. No, no ramp with me. No, but she tight right, up, tight up. I mean, done the town, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. No. Richard says, uh, let's see what Richard is saying. Um, how about you is a personal trainer with your female clients? Our male clients. That one the deadly. But that one personal deadly. trainer? Uh -uh. That one the deadly. Uh -uh. Right? Me never to hey. Those always end up a certain way. Mm -hmm. I've seen a, um, a one video. Leg and lift up I've and seen one of the, one, yeah, one of them WhatsApp videos there where a, a number of females are there and and and, 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 and the trainer, you can see so he's very excited. Right? Mm. No, sir. Mm -mm. Can't work. Mm -mm. Oh yes. But you have female personal trainers? Yeah. Yes, you do. I lift up in foot. Yeah, man. And I squeeze in, in grind. No, 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 no. Remember that a lot of the stars in into, into the fitness and them something there. Mm -hmm. Them have them own personal trainers. Mm -hmm. Not take it personal. Just take one trainer. Where you just got the gym and when him say jump, you just jump. It's and everybody a jump and, and everybody a skip. And yeah. The personal now will work out. This what Tigo. Tigo? Uh, it's true. Um, women can do to Tigo, wake up, please. It's all about the respect you have for each other, Tigo. That's so true too, because there are certain things that you'll communicate if you really, really respect your partner and don't wish to hurt their feelings on certain levels. Yeah. Uh, well. Yes. It, yes. It, yes. That's what no, it is. No, hold on. No, hold on. Listen. What? <clears throat> how would you know? In all instances, what would hurt and but, what wouldn't hurt. But, but you hurt. know what? You know what it boils down to? 
what you want for yourself, do it for the other person. Because I'm sure you want to know that Mrs. J is climbing them stairs or, or taking that elevator to go upstairs to see the boss, who happens to be her ex. When me did, you know, they, when me did their work. And you walk your tail off and every minute, him give you something else to do. To keep you occupied. <laughs> 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 you want to know she's going upstairs, yeah? yeah? So in 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 view of that, just what? tell her where you're going to. Come what, on. What, what, what do you see? As I said and before, why you need to go. But, but as I said before, it's, it's not a situation where in Seboi you are asked if you can go upstairs. You say she's going. Uh, if it, and that it, it, yeah, but it boils down to the level of trust and respect that you have for each other. Where trust for maybe well, for each well, other. Well, 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 where maybe she can go or me, he me can go something. and the partner right. feels no way about it. Let me tell you something. When, 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 when me have my, when, bring some when, insecurity, don't go. When me have my little college girlfriend, right? And she couldn't get over her ex-man. Let me tell you something. My girl, Anna, you may not trust. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. And right? most men will say that because so, I've heard men say that. So men don't know what you are talking about. No man. Well, if she, then, then she wouldn't know the kind of person you are and how you would feel about she going and she wouldn't go. As I mean, say, it has, a, it has a lot to do with how well you relate to each other and Some what you expect weak, from each other. Some people are weak to them ex, you know. Mm. <laughs> 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 Richard in the UK says, me I train my wife with you and use my wife and uh and my wife look, look good. good. Uh, who tell me if you purchase tent? She say she cost me half the whole day. So he was training me a train my wife with him. Mm. And the wife look good and I'm getting that part. Well, I'm not getting the, all, the full st con con story, really. All right, now it says, all about crush Miss Cleo. Let's see what now it's saying there. Um, it's all about crush Miss Cleo and always want to see what person, what a person around, see that person around, yeah. Possibly. Hmm. 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 Well, it boils down again to the respect you have for each other, quite honestly. Yeah, and what you well, know the other person a, will a, like. In my, in my training wife for the in the US. I'm not getting all of that properly at all, Richard. Um, hopefully me, he me, maybe want auto correct. Yeah, 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 mess it up, yeah. Something there throwing throwing us off a bit. Um. <clears throat> anyway. All right. I mean. For me, it's still, you know, as we mentioned, respect and all of them something there it is, a, is a key factor. It's not going to be easy mm -hmm. for anybody to go to work, go to them boss and say, boss, stop with my wife. Miss, yeah, miss, <laughs> me, miss, I make a move. I never have a wife, half of my woman, half of my woman, right? <laughs> so, if you even go to your partner and say, listen, I notice certain things and I don't like what I go on. I, I don't even think sometimes it's even relevant for you to ask a question why you and the boss are fair talk. You know, because it should even reach that far in the first place for the person who don't have contact for mm -hmm. each other. Right? True. Some people, people might say, boy, oh, the contact give up on social media. No. What kind of conversation? All kind of sitting and start run up and down in your mm, head. You. How much you really? How 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 honest and open is is this person to you? Because you say after you start feel insecure, nothing no make no sense no, to you. No sense at all. Nothing <laughs> no make no sense. That's even an explanation. Yeah, it no make no sense. So <laughs> you have to just decide. Say either you gotta work with it or you gotta just boogie. Yeah. Because. All kind of manner of sitting at a store. You, you, you start, even when the boss used to call you, and you know the morning and say, um, Good morning, Mr. Jackson. When you pass the next day, Good morning, Mr. Jackson. See him, tone him, everything. You're going to feel like I hype my hype on you. I'm going to laugh oh, off yes. at you. Oh, right? Yes. You're going to start feel that way there. If the boss, they over there, and, and, and a group of people, a chuckle, kill you dead. They're laughing at you. And you, them, I laugh off. They're paranoid. Off. Yeah, man. It all kind paranoia. of something. Yeah. I go run up in your brain. And that's why I say, you just fight and done. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. And get beat up and get done. beat up and done. And you know, say, boy, you war for your pride. Right? <laughs> you, you just do what you have to do. But they're going to end up shame. 
it no matter at least you know at the end of the day. Right? At the end of the day. I'm going to call the boss and just step on the boss and I wonder no, but you what is wrong. <laughs> no, but you might get knocked out too, you know. <laughs> but you know so you fight for your pride. And then you pack up and prepare to go but, home. But look, but yes. You know, the boss might be a, a KPH and I wonder what I do. <laughs> and so it's totally innocent. innocent. But something along the way trigger the madness the in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> something along the way trigger it, right? Oh. That's why we need to avoid that, pushing that little, your partner to get that madness right, out. Right, that little demon just just get up and are <laughs> running. You just run it every single thing where the demon say your woman put on <laughs> perfume. And guess what? All of a sudden, everything just goes backwards. Hey, hey well, I know. With a new perfume, well, the man buy gear well, and all these things. No, yeah. but well, I know. Me know a bridging right now, right, 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 right now. Zane. Oh, that thought? Well, on there. Before, <laughs> uh, on site, man, on site. Me know a bridging right now to the day and him day. Right? Mm-hmm. Where the man tell him, oh man, say. Right? Him gonna find out and the man tell him, oh man, say, yo, my girl, you're trying to shave that. <laughs> right? I wanna see which man really could tell me that. And the, the, I sistering, want to see. the sistering practically is being tortured because she don't use so that. Oh gosh! Zin. And him up there, what am I do? What him I do? What, she know what am I do? And who you shave for? Eh? And who you are shaving for? Eh? If him me a say, grow, me say, who you shave for? Him a grow forest. Me not grow none. Me sorry. Me quit the caller. Caller on the nine five four. Good night, caller. Person, hang up, yes. Hello, caller. Okay, we okay. invite you to call back. All See? right. So you, you have you have all kind of sitting and growing up and down in your head. Right? Because the man just say, Moms, do not shave it. Now this man gone for months, you know. And that thing so is still. Really, you call him every night to take a picture of it to show him that it's not shaved? Well, they must know how they work out their thing. But that's the way the man requests. And she because gonna write that. Well, they must know anything, but. Well, guess what? From when we get up. Guess what? From when we get up. If a man want go there and he don't shave him, I'm gonna go there see your way he man is an idiot. Hey, hey. You have, some, hey, you have some man out there, you know, with love a forest, you know. Exactly. <laughs> you have some man out there with love a forest, you know. And will enjoy mm. eating in the forest. So you got, <laughs> my girl, look here. I could have just 12 o'clock. If you're working in the forest and you're hungry, you're not going to eat. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Starvation will kill me. <laughs> right? Starvation will kill me. Hey. <laughs> oh, Lord. This is why I like the rabbit. <laughs> rabbit now no fat. Right? And they said, this is the what? Fat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Something like the rabbit. Now, these are the things where we have to look into where the boss business is concerned and whether they are ex or they are look your partner and what kind of information your partner will give. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait till you wait till, wait till hear the letter. Oh, boy. Wait till you hear the letter. The next letter we are, we are forward. Let's see here yeah, now. Miss Clear, you're too bad. <laughs> what did I do now, Ed? It's the truth. I mean, if you're in the forest, gentlemen, and you, you, you get tired after working so hard and you take a break, and you, you're hungry, just You know what they are forest? Pork. You know what they are forest? Pork. You know what they are forest? Meat. One, one bag of insect. Meat, did right? I Right, one bag of insect. Well, meat, Cobweb. did I? Cobweb. Cobweb. Reindeer, did I? Check what be. Reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> Wild hog, yes, not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> uh, okay, we, okay, nice. We, we, I, th- I think we have one box pop, right, Cass? All right, right we're going we're, we're to play this box pop. Good night, Real Talk. It's been a minute since I sent in a box pop, but I couldn't make that one you go by and I'm in a comment, or, you know? Um, so I'm thinking about my best boss um i honestly feel that my best boss was a gentleman um he was more rational with his decisions uh, more precise in my opinion um i feel from experience with my female bosses they were more emotional they most of their decisions were emotionally um made or decided it was all about how they felt about the other female or the other person in the office. It was never about who did the job better or well. Um, No, when it comes to if my partner 
was in a workplace with an ex, working with an ex, and this ex was putting talk to them or something there. Um, either all of we have to go work at the same place, and the same talk was she had put to him, she had to go put to me, or him have to go left the job there, because... I mean, I think that that's that's definitely not a good thing to happen in the workplace. If you if you are in a workplace and you decide, say, you want to be romantically involved with a co-worker, it's basically a recipe for disaster. Once anything goes bad, you know, no, who how everybody gonna work with all, um, both of you? Because you know, people tend to pick sides in a relationship when a relationship goes sour, and if you work with two people who had a relationship and that relationship went sour, no, you have to go try to figure out, oh, if this one wants me to talk to that, the one that this one I go think of them, me I talk about and then something, then I have no time for that. So if he is in a workplace where now he is working with an ex, he needs to ask for a change to a different department. He needs to find a new job. Maybe we even help update the resume because mm -mm, it not going to work. not going to work at all at all. Oh boy, thank you so much, Taria, and all the persons who made comments on the Vox Pop for tonight. Richard in the UK says, Claire, will you eat cane, the cane, if you are chop cane feel? Of course, if the cane is fit enough and <laughs> it's not tough, too tough, and I am at the point where I am working and I've, I'm tired and I need some sweet sugar cane. They must have chopping a piece and peeling it and eating it. <laughs> We're talking about cane here, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about cane, Richard. That's what you asked about. I'm talking about cane. And I'm saying if there's nothing else in the fields and cane is there and the cane can be eaten. Because I'm not all cane fit already. You know? Some cane too maga, some too bumpy. <laughs> some just not ready. Mm -mm. There, there no, there's no juice. So if it's a nice, juicy cane of fine, you man, chop that man by the root on the man. Yeah, man. Uh, what's wrong with you? By the root. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, peel it off and yeah, enjoy. Oh, my god. Oh, boy. The man I come, I come with Miss Cleo. Not that it's high. <laughs> Parable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for participating in the Vox Pop. Yep. And we're going to go right away, right away in this letter. I All think right. it's a nice letter. Well, easy, well, nice letter. I think, I don't know about this letter. I, I, mm. I understand what's happening. And uh, it's actually worse off than what's, 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 what's written, but mm. I Why? really don't know. Ah, oh boy. Dear Real Talk, <clears throat> sorry. I'm a single mother of two boys, and while it is easy, tough, it's, it is easy. It is tough. I think it is tough. Oh, while it is tough raising them, I did my best. I know my sons weren't saints or uh, as boys. As boys will be boys. Right, sorry, they weren't saints. As boys will be boys. My eldest son, now 26, didn't do well in sitting exams. Setting examples? What oh, are you Jesus, seeing, Jesus, what am I seeing? I need glasses. I think you do. My eldest son, now 26, because did, that wears glasses. didn't do well in setting examples. Looks like sitting exams. For the younger, ones. <laughs> For younger ones. As almost every month, he introduced a new girlfriend to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness no way you listen to him too much he's influence he's bad influence on you people yeah. the both of them oh my god as a choir said yeah jesus you're a bad influence to my listeners <laughs> jesus he uh, is now involved with a 35 year old yeah, woman yeah. that's going through a chaotic divorce battle in court mm -mm. she has two kids very educated but for some reason she can't keep a job mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> is she working for her ex <laughs> my son has been confronted before by her husband which he walked away leaving them to argue while she seems, why she seems <laughs> to be an okay person, 
I don't believe it is a healthy situation for a young man to be in. He says he pay, she pays some of his bills. Yeah. Also, what's that? Wash. Wash. Washes, cooks, and cleans his house whenever <clears throat> she's by his place. She'd help her. <laughs> but the husband keeps calling her phone. What do you make of the situation and what advice can you give? <clears throat> My advice are one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> one sentence, no more. What? All right, so here goes. <laughs> so let me just break it down. And think deeply. This, this mother one. of two, she says her son was no great example setter. Gallus. And now he's 26 and he's with a married woman, <clears throat> 35 years old. Hmm? A separated woman. Married, separated woman <laughs> <laughs> of 35 years old. She has two children, and I'm almost certain the kids are probably near, well, yeah, probably yeah. young, yeah. young, yeah. It's so old. No, yeah. man, a young <clears throat> So she has two kids, and she, they're very educated, but for some reason she can't keep her job. Something even wrong with she, too. So, of course, she met, or her son, or they both met, and they hook up, and they like each other clearly. And this woman is the kind of woman who thinks that she needs to buy this 26-year-old. Because, of course, she spends on him, no doubt. And she paid the bills, because she's his mommy. Yep. Mm. And she cleans his house, and cooks and washes. Of course. Which she ain't doing for her husband. Which she made a vow with, for better or for worse. In rich, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. But she gone to this little 26-year-old boy, who is, what, nine years or a junior, washing and cooking and cleaning and spending her money on him. Hmm. How convenient. <clears throat> but the husband keeps calling her phone. How about taking up your lazy self, woman, and going to a marriage counselor with your husband who keeps calling your phone, and just see if maybe, just try, because for better or for worse, you ain't try now to see if counseling can help the water, you know? And if it can't help, we can understand, but you did try. But you're not try with your husband, but you are wash and cook and clean for a 26-year-old boy who happens to be a little gallus, who went jump leave you when you soon can manage the ride and go find a younger filly. With him kiss. Come on now. She's being stupid. Why does she need to be if she weren't married, you know? Mark you. I'd have a different spin on this. But I think unless you've tried everything in your marriage, then you have no talk. Hmm. I don't think she have any talk right now because she's more engulfed with this young lad sorting her out than anything else <laughs> than trying to work things over with her husband he keeps calling her now if he's an abusive husband don't go back straight but if he's not abusing you yeah if there's no physical abuse no verbal abuse and it's something that you think you can come on girl wise up man this 26 year old boy don't really really want you he likes what you're doing for him he's enjoying the moment for now until better comes. Or until him can't just, him just can't take it no more. Because, and guess what? Later on, she's going to become very, very possessive. Very, very controlling. And want to dictate theme life because she's paying the bills and washing and cooking and cleaning. And how dare you go out and stay late? How dare you go out with your friends and don't carry me? <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. And all these things. She needs to wise up. And that mother who tells her son that she don't... I mean, yes, he's an adult. And she, maybe she can't dictate to him what he should do. But I think she needs to talk to that woman. Woman to woman. The woman. Yes, or the mother needs to speak to the woman. Leave oh, my sir. son alone. He's 26 for crying out loud. Go work things out with your husband. You cradle rubber. <laughs> 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 but, yes. But I think she ought to... Um, let me see about the letter, please, the bottom part of it. Um, what do you make of the situation and what advice can you give? As I said, speak to mother, speak to this woman. Put some sense in her head. Tell her about trying to work things with her husband. And this young man, I'm not going to give it up because it's, it's so good to be true. So he won't give it up. So 
That's why this 35 year, year old woman who should have more sense and experience to know that this is not where she should be heading. Um, I can't say to the young man, oh, leave her alone because she married and whatever. Men, <laughs> the best of both worlds I'm going to take if you can get it. The woman needs to have more sense than what she's doing, about what she's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now 11.30. that note. Um, she's mm -hmm. clear said more than a mouthful a while ago. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Let's move forward. Humbling comment for Daddy Rude. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do have high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. You don't know this is Craig T now. We're representing for the Adrenaline Rush with a musical ingenious digital T. Saturdays right here on Styles FM. You don't know. 48 to mix the date and don't be late. You understand? Because the new arts and new music segment is from 5 to 6. So make sure you're there and the girls there. Hot till him I burn up the place. No left no space. Don't miss it. Planning a party? Club night out? stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm Mr. Reggae Ambassador, hey. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you up that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Base with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. When right here in Styles I FM. This is every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399 Don't forget 518-2399 Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, and you're tuned to Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. And of course, we're looking at the letter where this young man, 26 years old, um, is with a 35-year-old woman. She's on the verge of, I guess, going through a separation or, or marriage. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> try to say no. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the verge of breaking off with her husband. It's tumultuous, apparently. However, this woman, instead of working things out with her husband, she's cooking and washing and cleaning and paying bills for the 26-year-old. Yeah. And he is just basking in all that excitement. Of course. Um, the, mother seems, the mother of the son seems to be perturbed a bit by it because she's she doesn't bill. think that this is the best way, best situation for a young person at this time. And she pretty much wants to know what we think of the situation and what advice we would have to give. I would love to hear what Daddy Rhodes take on this scenario. My girl, this my, nightmare is. I'm not take nothing, my girl. I want to. 
I'm not <laughs> taking anything, man. I'll give you my, my view. So give it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think some, some part of it, I kind of want to agree with it because you're a bashful woman. You know what I mean? But also that, that, that's, that's it. That's the reason why you don't oh, agree with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 I can't be bad at the reason. Come, 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 come. I, 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 know, I know some of you bash the woman. Yeah. Oh. Listen. No, you I right, you I know. The woman, not, she, she, the woman in a situation where obviously she wants to get out of, right? Probably, the, the, let's say it's a chaotic situation, Gina. And yeah, who makes it chaotic? We don't know. We don't know. Hmm. But it's, it seems to me that probably in another situation... Does it matter? Like, Divorce battle. <clears throat> yeah. In a, the woman's woman who then might have been under threat. <clears throat> All right? So now... A younger man approach her and she want to the younger man to to revalidate her status then. Alright? So she I must say I'll, I'll defend them things you know, and say, well, never do this because I want to keep this. Oh. Alright. No. No, no woman. <laughs> Pick me now hold them, cook, clean, wash, <coughs> be a business, now hold them alone. Well well, what else could it be? No, from, from the mother's point of view, you know, this woman at thirty five. My son at 26. She could have about 41, you know, 42, you know. That's a and young she, mother. Yeah, and she had to say, no, mom, I can't want my son have a woman in a my age group. And, and so yeah, at, yeah. at that all, what, 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 what about the mother, mother no? but I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a, that a one aspect. Yeah. Then, first part, she said, if, he if he's a the mother, um, if he's still out, I, 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 I don't know. Still on the situation, the story. Well, I mean, I got still, but but obviously that woman, the, the mother, is still like a control freak. She still want to be a control freak because she needs to get a job. <laughs> no, I know the mother. No, I, no, 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 the letter writer, the person who write a letter. She sound like a control freak because what's her? This her son at twenty six and a. Big man. Big man, have enough man and um, enough girl. My daughter is 25 December, and I'm sorry. There are certain things I'll still say. I'm sorry. <laughs> well. So call me country free money. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Well, birds of a feather, eh? <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm going to have a question for you. It's going to be a very out. <laughs> yes, Dan. <laughs> a very important question. People, please remind me to ask Claire a question based off what she just said a while ago. Yes, Dan. Yeah, so... It's I, important. Me, me, me think, so the, Be careful. It's very important. I understand that. I think, so think so the mother, the writer, really have, a, have an issue. And then again, you know, what she said, she had a tough time raising the kids and she did her best. The mother that tell me, say, she, she don't do her best. <laughs> and that, that tell me, you know, no. she, she don't raise her kids improperly. Are, that, are you saying this wasn't no, no, good no. enough? Yeah. That, they that, are not perfect, but she <clears> did her best. That's what it says. See, but Why do you twist it around? No, don't, don't twist the woman's statement, man. <laughs> listen, listen. Don't twist the woman's statement, but, Yeah, but, but she, would, she, would, she would need to say that, you know. No, no, she needs to. No. <laughs> she needs to. You're not yeah. perfect, but I did my best. She needs no, to no, because, because no, she'll come, she'll come no, up no, something. No, 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 uh -uh. <laughs> It is what it is. You always say that. Do not change what the letter says, Dan Dan. No, no, I'm not changing. 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 She said explicitly, but, they are not perfect, but I did my best. Argument done. Yeah, but the euphemism is... Obviously, my best wasn't good no, enough. No, no, no. I, that's what she said, you know? Well, yeah, yeah. That's what she said, because we punish. My twins is your son. I have a different she, woman every, she, every month. She that, feel them. But that's not, yeah. not, it's not her fault. No, we're not, no, no, we're not, we're not assigning blame. She just said that. She failed them. She didn't fail them. Them feel she. <laughs> no, we're not assigning, <laughs> we're not assigning blame. We're not assigning blame. But she herself seems to be taking responsibility. No, she's not. For, no, she's not. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm reading it wrong then. 21st century picnic, she can't do not much for change. They don't want change. Yeah, that's how it is. <coughs> Generation X. Oh, my mm. goodness. But the thing, though, I, I'm picking up the parts again where she's going through a, a chaotic divorce battle mm. in court. I really, really think she ought to give herself some time and space <coughs> to, 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 to let that go through her system. How are you leaving from a chaotic, um, okay, a marriage, went on the rocks, chaotic divorce in court, now 26 year old cooking, washing. Will you find time, sister, for all of that? You need some time to just, what, what's, what's the word you would use? Purge. Purge. Mm. She want to purge right now. 
Don't be taking up no additional duties of washing, cooking, yeah, and cleaning that, for man. I agree, I agree. I agree. I'll have five other filly out there and up and down with. Come on, girl. Yeah, reach what is this? It's a reality. It's a man. <laughs> it's a man's world. <clears throat> Nature, you remember that? Nature thing you talk about? Yeah. Oh, she can't even oh, agreed, agreed, agreed. And I think this this woman in the chaotic, chaotic divorce case, she, she, have, she seems to have a self... Yeah, um, she needs validation from the young man, which yeah, she shouldn't be finding. Yeah, she Find have a... Find your own inner validation. Yeah, that's, validation yes. you, honey. Yes. You got it going on. <laughs> Come on. Go get a, go get a yes, job. Yes. Keep a job for crying out and, loud. And, 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 and as such, and as such, probably the mother need to show her son and say, look, man, don't, don't want to... No right for you because she know, point she, taken. We agree mm. on that. <laughs> She's suffering from <clears throat> some form. Yeah, low, low, low self esteem. Yes. Low self esteem. And you need a woman's son who is positive. Because it's because the fact the fact that she feels that she has to wash and cook, cook and, and clean, clean and pay yeah, bills. Is that, is that, is that, Why not work? It's an esteem thing. Why not work? So so what the mother needs for the now is show her son say look you don't really want to give that woman you know, a problem you have to, you have to can. <laughs> well, 472 says the son need to watch him back cause the husband no get over her yet <laughs> true talk Tigo real talk you make try watch it for true because boy some of these men you know boy, huh? I don't know if me, if me, me, me don't know if me don't the same the same wavelength at all tall, 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 tall. well you know I <laughs> Richard, leave me alone. Oh, we read that one already, anyways. Yeah. Me no know. Me look at it thing. Me, me look, me look at it different. Go back to the story, please. The, mm, the letter, let me please. hear your twist on this now. Uh, yeah, I don't really see a twist, but all right. Uh, me go start from the, the beginning. beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Where else? All right. A man at 26 years old, where during him years, him years growing up. I guess when when when, when mother gone to work or whatever, him, him, him around the place red. Mm-hmm. Right? Every month, yeah. every month, him bring home a different girl. So I guess maybe when, when him in a high school or wherever, whatever level of Education. whatever part, mm-hmm. this is an experience youth. Retrophase. See me? Even an experience. When I was 26, you, you, you don't pass phase, man. Right? You're you, you, you kind of. Near, near, near the finish line, and you have chuckle past and you look back and you see a whole of people are fight for reach it. And then you just a jog, right? So you would have a whole of experience. See? But maybe, just maybe, you never experienced a big woman yet. Like all a clear. No me, see? No, no me. So. Don't look this way, boy. You're not far from 35. <laughs> you're not far from 35. No. The hypocrisy about this now, Dan, Dan, right? She had talked about cradle, cradle robber. I'm sure say if it was a 35-year-old man and a 26-year-old girl and the man had spent money upon her, you, it wouldn't seem that way at all. Maybe not. <laughs> 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 a real talk. <laughs> right? So, this woman, she had got through one divorce situation, chaotic. Obviously, something gone sour. Why it's chaotic? That's a key point in my mind. It might not be right? hurt, it hurt his fault. Uh-huh. It, it no, no, we're not talking about no fault business. So we're talking about so the thing chaotic. The, me, me not like you. Me can't agree. Me want, me want to set termite upon the house. For, for near me don't come in and left with half right. Right? That is chaotic. <laughs> me want the pit them. You want the pit them. We want all oh, oh, one upside down with a knife. You bust in a two and you take half a man. You know what I mean? The furniture want cut up. Yeah. So the thing, the, 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 it's chaotic. No. Why is it that this husband a confront the man? Why the husband go confront the man? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It said the husband. My son oh. has no. The son. The son. The, oh. the son has been confronted. Confronted. By, right. Before by her husband. No. Me not understand the part there. Yeah. We're Something in say. Right. We're in say. Right. The man confront the youth, but at the same time. You just take away yourself. Uh-huh. More and knowing your opinion, should the youth and, 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 and defend the whole thing because I see that him left the two of them for argue. The last person who did that died. Mm, but this, this, that, 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 that thing, the man. No, but see? guess what? Guess what? I think she's playing. But are the man, woman, you know, are the, are the 26 year old woman, you know? Are yeah. the man, wife? Yeah. Because they're not divorced yet. Yeah. 
But and I'm saying, you feel that the man, you feel the man, you feel the man have no the husband have any right to confront anybody on what, because because she a big what, woman. Based on what she could have told him, and yes. my call, 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 call the phone. Exactly. The what has she been telling him, or how she been leading him on? Lead on, the, oh. the husband. Lead on, oh. No, nah, my girl. But no, you have men out there where it no good sometimes like that. Clear. Clear. Where man a call, 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 call the phone for? Clear. Yeah? If no it's man. a chaotic divorce battle in court, Wait. my girl, well, why would he need to be called, called her? And why would he need to call the front? Clear. Clear. You know, you know, over the years, you know, when daddy would. Daddy would say me fight for him, for him and I know. Yes. Yeah. You know where daddy would have come from. Cassidy. Even when I don't yet, you know where daddy would have come from. Cassidy, <laughs> listen. What is he? Cassidy, can you imagine, old boy? The woman that he had, I wash your clothes and the man, I call, 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 call the woman. When I call, call, you understand? I'm going to call the woman, put bleach for the man, color shirt, you know? <laughs> when I call, 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 call for. Why would he confront right? the young man? Divorce are going, you know, it's a court date, road boy. Where you call, call about? Why would he confront the young man? For the cook, Cassidy. For the cook. It's husband, man. I come call, 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 the woman. Why? Why did he confront the young man? When confront him? Yes. Because well, he's that desperate, you think, for to get his wife back? They are in court with a mm. chaotic divorce battle, remember? Mm. Well, I know. Why would he have confronted this? Because quite frankly, if it reached well, that know, place, well, he'd be saying, you well, know, know what? Good riddance, to hell with you. Yeah. Let, let, let get, over, get, get this over with. I have my woman and she have her man. Well, Why know. is he confronting the young man? Uh, me, Something alright. She have mislead somebody. Well, I know. Maybe just, maybe, we don't know. Maybe the 26-year-old are, are the cause of the problem from morning. Or some other situation. Possibly. But confronting right. him now when he's in court. I know must him. It can be a next situation. It can husband, be, you know. But I don't get that. Repeat that. No, me I say I know must him. Because me, me, maybe the husband it, it's kind of reminiscent of the reason why. It could be another man, it could have been anything. It, it could have it could have husband could have been a bad husband too, you know, we don't know, you know. Like right and yeah, I know. Look, hey, listen, the like hypocrite, the hypocrite work. Stay with me. She Don't try to take on me hypocrite work. Just right? Too. What may I say? In a my in in a, in a my view, me have to wonder why is it that this lady cannot keep a job, and then why is it why is it why is the mother focus, really? why the mother find it important? Listen, why the mother find it important? For I like the part. They say, boy, this woman have education, yes, but she can't keep her job. Right, but yet still she have money for mine her son. That. I was wondering all that. And right, man. where she get the money from? She a deal. Where she get the money from? Is it that said the husband has spent money same way and he put the me informal, the informal money man. I spend? Me I said so she had mislead right? something, something, something they took. In, in, in so that she buy informal, she buy flour for cook. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what going Why the man a call call? We say the man a call call the phone. Who have a picnic at the time there? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Who have a picnic at that particular time Why the man a call off the phone? That she's not dealing with her, with her business right. She's not dealing with it properly. Her business out. All we know say the youth didn't know say she married. Really? All we know that. I mean, she have two picnic. No, straight up, still at 26, rude boy, I'm not thinking, 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 i am not thinking i am or just relax and enjoy. Now these women have esteem issues, and because these men treat them well, so to speak, mostly because of what they getting, they feel attached to them and will even try hurt them sometimes if they try to leave. It's obvious that her, that she and the husband still in dealings, and if that's the case, he needs to be careful because the husband had no. No most good. <laughs> <laughs> Holistic guru, sorry, Olivia sorry, Rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if he's confronting him and he's calling him and walking away this once is all good. But we don't know how far his headspace is. And until they've settled their divorce and sorted sort it all properly, 
then he should just probably stay away. Go and go find Ken, go your mother house, go wash and cook and something and something, something man. Go and go work and pay your own bill, my youth. Yeah. No. I stop take the man money. No, it it, it, yeah, on, yeah. it, it, on, it never said it never said the youth now work, you know. See? Yeah. Me I get that say this woman now work, but she have money I spend. This youth that talk about woman with two picnic. Right, we're going through a chaotic situation in a fair He's life. Too. Right? He's not that desperate. It could be a situation where you said the boy I tell him woman said the woman are paying bill when I pay the woman bill. You don't read a part there. On the feel a part of there. Why the why, why the woman ca, um concerned about the whole thing for do with the woman on a walk? Right? Listen now, she said, him say she appear some of the bill them. Which twenty six year old man I go to the mumma and tell him, you know say your girl is friend and you go to and you go to your mumma go tell him your, your girl is business. You, you are you are paint the well, that they have. you you are paint a big a, a, a brighter picture like mommy know yourself man she will take care of things man so she will cook for me and all them something there yeah eh? me not me not the part there the part there me not the part there me not the part there me not buy why a mother like this no say I saw that shutter and I got right we and I say boy what kind of advice we have she the woman feels that our boy pick the end trap in this situation yeah with the thirty five year old woman and in chaotic at head man. <laughs> and Oman want to ask me, this boy uh, used to use people girl picnic. I know the boy in a problem. Uh, him get right? In belly, catch him. You know, see it. <laughs> the boy lick licky and all kind of sit and reach him. Me cannot uh, absorb. <laughs> say, Oman, when Nana walk, I pay the boy bill. And you have two picnic for mine. Right? Here. And the Oman, well, I know. The Oman left the picnic. You know? No, but. <laughs> Some men do some crap sometimes. Me know. Some to say, I'm a woman, somebody tell me. Right. Some fool, some fool, some fool, some fool, some fool, some fool. Some stupid things we do and settle for some crap. Did you just say you're a woman some of the times? No. I no, said. no. Did you just say you're a woman some of the times? That's not what I said. No. That is not what I Hold said. Hold on, people. All right. Thank, thank you, my engineer. Did you just say you're a woman some of the times? All the time. What are you now? <laughs> yeah. eh? You're enemy. Eh? Your worst oh. nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that, no. That worse than that. Sometimes, like, because maybe she's with this young guy now who might be a good-looking chap and whatever, and he's hot and studied and all these things. Maybe, just maybe, she's she's smit, bitten and afflicted by that. By what? The fact that he's gorgeous. We don't know I that. We don't, we don't know that. We don't know that. Listen, speaking. you can listen. And then she's now caught up in that and start doing crap like paying his bills. The mother said the woman have two pitney and she educated, but the woman can't keep. No, she, and for some reason, the woman can't keep no work. She doesn't want to work. She spends right? all her time cooking and cleaning and washing clothes. No, but listen, you Silly really, woman. you really feel that this woman I go, I, I go spend money on this boy bill. If right? she's and in jail and she loves him and she wants him to I want to try to keep him. Where she get the money from? Wherever she gets it from, she will do it. My girl, listen. Women will do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We know, we know, we know, all right, the, what, this is what we know for sure. The, the mother don't 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 check for the woman. You don't check for the woman. Yeah, we know, and we, we, we can't believe my mama. Because I don't just see woman need her. Something not yeah. right. <laughs> but I don't just, just see boy need her, you know. I don't just see woman pick the need her. Because that's son. Me not just uh, a woman pick her son, exactly. her son that, boy, that boy I tell that, like exactly. and she's irrationally this, where this, he's exactly. this 35 year old woman here I give him the combo <laughs> right and he can't let the combo okay be, but be the, combo, the go large yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right that something not right you can't have a youth where a player him have every month him guess what? Hey, come on daddy I, road my you girl. want a player once me no, never have been and never uh, will. <laughs> never. You know, you know, you never, you know never got the chance. You know how <laughs> never. I've been cool. My girl, a 10 year now, me there in a hostage. A 10 year now, I'm in exile. A 10 year now, me get trapped. <laughs> me don't know what you are talking about. I don't want to be a player no more. The song says something. Mm -hmm. I want to. She could find mm -hmm. someone I want to put that. That man reach a place now. Let me say, look here. You know, this is not this. This woman here check for me. I just suck long and just go easy with her. Sisterin. You could be saying that to you know. It could be, but 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 why is the mother so concerned? Right? No. Uh, listen. No. no the lady, look up top. She's saying no. She did her best. 
Right? So she, 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 you know, that's why I'm saying that this woman must feel like she feel her pity there because she's Because any mother, any mother, mm. whereas you're a single mother and you're picking it of a whole for girl, mm. girl, right? You can't feel good in yourself. And you probably got him and say, yo, right? Because she say, no, the boy never do well for f- f- set a better example for f- f- your little brother. She say it, you know. Mm. So maybe she had tried to show certain things and the boy just have the whole for girl, she gone to work. The boy bring a different woman come out of the yard. Mm. Little brother see that. And maybe little brother take up. Well, she not talk about, talk about little, the little brother. So, but so, now, so him talk. So her after, no with the woman. My girl, enough woman, enough mother, right? Feel bad for them pity when the woman, when, when, when them pity take up a woman where the woman not like. Yeah, right? I'm but saying. what may I say? If you pray this, Zane. And, and most mothers don't like up when a, when a man take up a whole up. Significantly in this case. Yeah, we, we, a whole uh, woman with mm. pitney, we obviously the boy I take you. The woman, yes, she mm. woman I wash for him, she a cook for him, and then something there. The, the woman I got turn around and pay the boy bill. Me not believe that part there. She'll do it. Me not believe that part. Remember now, listen, it. she never, the, the, well, not, the woman never say in no, pitney, no, no. don't, the woman never say in pitney, whatever, so she do her best. I'm go, I'm go, I'm go thing, no, on on, she comes on the thing, the... on the thing with the boy, the boy I want to call. In my opinion, it is obvious that she she is not proud about her son Gally's lifestyle. Right. It's obvious, right? So me I say, me feel say from where she look pan, she said the youth not set a better, ex- him not set better example for the for the younger one, right? But in my opinion, looking at it, she's saying number one, the woman man come up to our pitney, right? Looking at that, and your pitney still not left, him, him walk out and argue, him walk out and left your argument, you know. But the boy, the boy is still in a relationship. Zane, the boy yeah. trap. Yeah, you don't have to. You no. know what time when you see Ty? <laughs> you know what I, I said? I don't know what Ty look like. You know what time when you see Ty? But the one do. Go watch no. YouTube and say how oh, to tie a tie. Type in how oh, to tie a tie. Exit <laughs> on YouTube. So we are saying, do you want to tie the youth? Then oh, I, I can't please. come to nothing else. <laughs> Oh, please. Mickey can't come to nothing else. With, with what? A combo? Or stupid? No, man. Why? So, St. Thomas. He combo. So, combo. We're tying the body still, you know. St. Thomas alone. See? Listen. Me not see how it is that this young youth, this youth at 26, even I'm prime. It's can get, possible. Can get any cat. At this phase, see? maybe she's the LSE has been with, so he could be going through that phase where he's with her for now. Come on, it's possible. No man, at hold on, at twenty six, you, you you don't even experiment on a thirty five year some, old. You, sorry, there are you, some you, you, young you, men who prefer an older woman. No, Come wait, on. no, no, listen, no, no, no. When you are twenty six, you don't even experiment on a thirty five year old. You want a woman in her forties, road boy, right? Thirty five, I like twenty six, you know. Thirty five, like twenty six. What are you gonna do with that? You don't know what he found with her. Maybe he found that package. She cooks, she washes, she cleans. When he comes, she comes to his house. Half and year she me, pays bills. Half year, me tell no one to oh me. Oh my God, that young boy no one <laughs> better than that. Half year, me tell no one to me one And not to mention here. the, the, the gold large combo. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I, I don't see... It. If he's a mama's boy, his mother can't wash for him, she can't cook for him, she can't clean for him. She's not doing it. Right? The bill part... The bill part, the yeah, part, but, the part, the part, the part that me not believe, say, she, the woman are paying bill. Right? You can't, you, you can't, no, you, yeah. you, you can't be a sensible woman. Listen, Ima, this, Ima, this, yeah. this one is, Ima, is, is, is educated. I'm a gay mother, so, I'm a gay mother, 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 i more than them picnic. It does not say that she's not taking right? care of her kids. You didn't say that. You know no work. Right? You know have a job. Remember, you know? Remember? All right, no. all right, all right. Dan, 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 Quote back like one. It either be over property or, well, the kids are property as well. Mm. Now, if a woman demonstrate that she's not able or capable to take care of the them, right? A problem that. Right? Pan fear part because the man would have that over her. I said, boy, look, um, Mirana, this is a woman that can't mind the pity them. See? So even if me give her the cheese right after this, so she'll go spend the cheese for the next man. Mm. See? Because she have a man. See? Now, 
if that really are going, fear a ghost cook. They don't need to be no chaotic battle, no, no chaotic business, because you can easily get the money, pick them and say, go along with them because I have my 26-year-old boy right here. So. Right? Me feel said that boy has spent fitting money wow. on this woman. Really? Right? Even make things look even better on fear part. Right? So she's capable and able. And Zin? he will need to tell his mom that. Then not that the man that make it from the mother. He so. need to tell his mom that. Then you say a mama boy that. You don't see it. I shall judge. No, but you don't see it in order. Listen, in order to make things look better. Right? Pan the whole situation, whatever him caught up in her. Maybe the, the, him like all the people in them too. Maybe like the people them, I, 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 I want the family. Yes, maybe like that because for a man I got approach you and you don't left a woman. You probably hooked. You probably like, like, like the attracted to the kids. Just let's leave a woman. When you hang on for something nice, you can't left us No. Okay. Yeah, yeah well. Okay. We can't can you left us well, okay. If you <laughs> say no more, brothers. That, that's, that's it. That so is true. Is good. You, you can just left just so. That is true. Talk truth. But, but, that but, is true. You can't. But, 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 but to the mother, mother, <laughs> that's the truth. From an no. advice standpoint, I really, me not really know what to tell you because I don't really, I don't really feel. Me understand you, you, you love your pitney, you love your boy pitney, right? And, and, and me sister, in a probably your mind, no, for a youth with a girl is in probably wiser than this, right? Maybe in find love. Exactly. But at the same time, too, Maybe. In, should, in, in should have wiser than this. You know, I've not for the, you know, the picnic party, you know. Mm. Right? But the fact is, uh, the woman never not divorced yet. Zane, she's not divorced yet, and obviously, there's turmoil the same way. And let's say the woman has take out restraining order, we not get nothing like that. Mm. Um, f -f 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 keep the man away. The man approach fear man, you know. And then all the man gone and them argue over it. So there's no restraining order in my mind uh, where, 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 where this volatile situation is concerned. So from your standpoint, moment, the most you can do is, is well, obviously, your, your opinion, I try to can you too because it feels you talk to him. You know what you do? Me no, no. Oh, oh, the, hey, really? No. The more she can do, you know? The more she can do. She, the more she can do, I set him up on next woman. <laughs> <laughs> give him a different woman. You see me? No, man. Give, him a, me, 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 give him a next big woman. No, Look at but that. Wow, Richard. Wow. Ooh, uh, got goosebumps. Oh, congrats, you. <laughs> yes, that she say. Monday. Going to be my 14th madly, madly. year wedding anniversary. So far, my 21. Just 35. Congrats, you. Wow. You uh, go, uh, uh, Richard. Madly, madly. An, an, an accomplishment. <laughs> Thumbs up. <clears throat> I like these things. Madly. Mm -hmm. Listen, right? The more she can do, I give you a different woman. See? <laughs> so, can so, she do so, that? So, so, so him can see. Yeah, but no, but I, no man, they, they're independent in his choices. So that not gonna work. That's where he wants to be. <laughs> not, not not gonna work. That's where he's gonna be. You know, but that's where he wants well, to be. Like, like, maybe the maybe maybe something maybe something tight thing going on. Maybe some tight thing going on. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take in your mouth away. Look here. Give the, mother, the, mother, the mother can't can tell her son, look, son, come home, come, come, come to your house, come home back and save some money. And this way, she can't do that, but obviously, mm. me, me, me no know. <clears throat> Ladies and germs, me, 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 that, that one I have, me, me no know. Is that tough one? Is that tough one? Oh, I don't know. Normally, I can't say sitting, but I don't know if it's about that one. Yeah. Because, you know, but, but. To, to the husband still, the husband need, 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 need to take it easy because he might end up one day go overboard with him actions, you know, because if you go as far as approaching the youth. Well, somebody you know, said when the husband look at all he did for her, who knows? You true. Know. You know, um, so, so, so he might feel the husband, uh, the husband are the, are the one right now, I say, boy, papi, make them go and live their life and thing, and if you have your court thing, go on, whichever way, way, it way it work out, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You have to just, uh, try to be a girlist, you know, old boy, because sometimes you have to just make a thing galang, you know. Zin, you, 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 you have two youth out there and thing. You, you have to take care of youth, then buy whatever you, you have to buy for the youth. Maybe but, the poor man didn't want to end up in court like that. But, 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 but make sure, say, you take care of yourself. She had to finish she have and she you see me? Young boy. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you take care of yourself, you know. Yep. Make them go and do for them thing. Self and, first in many cases, and it's not and, selfish. Yeah. And, and you just try to find a way to you make yourself happy. 
and yeah. in an independent way of this woman and the situation. I'll, I'll, Real talk. I'll, if you have a take for yourself, why when you say sound harsh, I'll if you have a take for yourself and the people, but for sanity, you know, oh, yeah. you have to mind your youth them financially, you have to give them whatever necessary support, but for your own sanity. Real you talk. know, you have to just and ease, ease off of some things, you Definitely. know. Definitely, and Daddy Rude took the words from my mouth because I think that one sanity is the only thing that you alone can yeah, preserve. Man. Nobody else, no matter how they love you or how you Chaotic. think they love you, Chaotic. you'll be able to preserve that sanity Chaotic for Chaotic court you. Chaotic quote battle, yeah. you know, lie, make a whole of money I found oh, and, yeah. and, and all of them sitting there. At the end of the day, where does it end up? Same place, no doubt. And, so, and some rich liar. Yeah, yeah. So rich liar. You, 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 you gotta be wise. You have, to, you have to match out the thing. Hobby, if you did your best and it can't work and she's going one way, then guess what? There's nothing you can do to take her back on the path that you want her to come unless she really wants to. And it goes in the reverse for the males too. Sister, if the man decides I'm gonna go one particular way, there's nothing you can do to take him her back. So just and for the husband allow your sanity to maintain, to maintain. Do not give the woman no cash. Deposit it in our bank and save the deposit sitting them. No give him no cash. Yeah. Right? In, Real talk. In, in. And at the end of it too, ensure that after all is said and done, your kids really, really know where you stand with them as it relates to loving them. Don't allow any breakup, any bitter sour battle in court to let your kids feel less loved than they should. Simple. Real talk. Yeah. Yep, it's now after 12, it's now 7 minutes after yeah, midnight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we want to say thank gentlemen. you. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks yep. to Dan Dan for being here. Good to Yeah, see my you. pleasure for you to accept me as a family. Yeah, <laughs> always. And to all our friends out there who have been listening in and texting in and calling yep. in. Thank you so much.